And hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Howdy. How is everybody doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. So, uh, we are Hard Knock Dice. My name is Jonesy. Someone check our audio for me, make sure we're doing okay. Uh, my name is Jonesy, your dungeon master for this evening. And these beautiful people surrounding me right now are your heroes for the evening and my best friends. Today, we are going to continue across Eberron. But before we do announcements, as always, um, we're raising money with Extra Life. We're raising money for the Children's Hospital of Atlanta, or Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, rather, uh, building an, a new uh, hospital, almost at school, new, new hospital, and everything. So we get exclamation mark charity in the chat. Thank you so much. And thank you for letting me know, Jinx. I appreciate you. Um, so click on that link. Go be a hero. Save some kids. Dope. So, God, this music busting in my ear right now. All right. So, uh, anybody got anything else? Any announcements or anything? Did I miss anything? We don't think so. No. Nope. We've only we've only done the one first session of our new campaign, Blood and Silver, this last Wednesday. We had premiere of Blood and yeah. Silver. That is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Wednesdays, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be here at this very channel where you get to see our boy. Where are you? You're not on this side. That's Ian. Not the, you over here, Milo slash at Tyler Chase Game <laughs> slash, slash Cody. So uh, check check him out. He'll be our DM for that campaign. Got a couple of these other guys in it, as well as some new faces to uh, Hard Knock Dice. So go check it out. Check it out. We just have our, had our premiere. It's dope. Check our TikTok out as well because we'll have some clips from that being uploaded within the next uh, couple of days or so. So good announcement. Love it. Loving it. All right. What else we got? Anything else? Y'all can keep y'all can delay as long as you want to. I'm giving you the opportunity right here. <laughs> stall, stall. No Who, point in delaying the inevitable. All right. Anybody's birthday today. Was anybody's birthday this last week? If we're going to die, can I go ahead and get my new birthday twenty? I got two weeks for my birthday. Brittany says, "Watashi wa We have to stall for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah, that would suck for <laughs> for us to TPK and then the next campaign to start after Rebecca's birthday, so she just doesn't get a birthday twenty. S M H. It's real holy. So at least you got a chance to use it. That's true. She used it last week. So, mm -hmm. who does? That's a good question for this session and the sessions going forward. Maybe, uh, who's got their birthday twenty still? Yeah, Crow Crowley just got one. Gandalin's got one. I think I still have one, maybe. Was the, the Sharn scene before or after my birthday? That's a good question. I, I think the last birthday 20 I used was in Zoriat. See, I think that was before August, right? I think he still had yours, I RTM. I think, the, the, I think a lot of people still have theirs, actually, because I think Milo's was just a couple of months before your birthday if i remember correctly so we have several birthday 20s at our disposal we we have several because we're we all play playing games and we will yeah we will covet every resource <laughs> to the very last minute <laughs> Idril will be dead the world will be saved and like who's still got their birthday 20 all of us <laughs> so except me <laughs> i need to start a color coded list that would be sick <laughs> that would be awesome um, what we should do is just like have the little like nat 20 thing beside your frames that, and I could, then I could remove them, uh, that's whenever you do use them. That's good. That's, that's a good idea, actually. Noggin. Good idea. Large. Good. You know, I'm thinking. You can today. implement that in the next campaign. You know, I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we we'll, could we'll see. Change around those little insanity icons. Yeah, we don't need those anymore, right? That'll, those will never come up again. Probably not. I mean... That's how we know that we still haven't made it out of Zoria yet. Oh shit, we, we're still <laughs> there. We, Everything. Oh, no. See, you think this that, that insanity level's ticking down, but the thing is, this is all the way full for all of you at this point. No. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> we're good, guys. It's all we're all just insane. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all just I'm gonna suffer. To get Wyatt, once right. we get out of this, and he has to play Azur in Melgar. <laughs> Azur, Azur never existed. Really. Oh. Yeah, he is fictitious. All right. Azura is no fictitious. Stop delaying, you delayers. Last we left off. Our heroes are in Aether. The siege being set upon an army of undead. Deedril. Toshik's father. The ire of Gorum's justice. Vengeance. Go ahead. 
it is set upon this city to commit an atrocity as part of a ritual to bring back a lich known as Arandus Vol, the matriarch of the religion, the blood of Vol. Our party, our heroes have been scrambling around the city, trying to help people where they can, get the city ready, prepare everyone that they can, raise an army, not from the dead, but just from the very citizenry and put them on the walls to defend this, this, this hometown of Ganduins. Knowing what was coming and trying to convince everybody that something was along the way. They've done quite a bit of good in the short amount of time that they've had. They've had about 12 hours to try and disassemble a plot that has been calculated and planned out for years and years. So, who knows what would have happened had they not been here. We won't. But, our heroes in the midst of saving some of this town have now gone into the city as the undead are at the walls or further into the city, breaking down some of the gates. They are making their way further into the city, closer to the, cit the I said the citadel, but the uh, closer to the Crimson Monastery or the Parliament building, where a lot of citizens are currently held up. A lot of the citizen armory that, that were not previously soldiers now sit with weapons given to them by the state, ready to defend themselves, their homes, and their lives. Our heroes were making their way through the city and coming around the corner they saw Yidril himself as well as Broxia his death giant commander of undead armies and 10 bone knights after laying eyes on this site the group stopping just short about 50 feet away from this Boris Yavorsik Major Boris Yavorsik turns to a friend ally or at least so it was thought, and beheaded him. Giving a strong Carnathi salute, looking at Yidril, saying, Commander Yidril, your arrival is being anticipated. And I would like everyone to please roll initiative as we swap over to our battle map. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Love hearing that. All right, I'm going to have to fix some cameras while you guys get that all settled up. Um, but that's no problem. We're okay. We're, we're doing fine, everybody. We're doing fine. Before we, while y'all are rolling initiative, we got a little bit of uh, some some more stuff to figure out as well before we start shouting out numbers and getting ready to do the hoedown showdown bro it is so red correct this is what happens when you have 12 blood moons in the sky it's a bit red well, that's a lot of dudes back there holy shit so RIP to the minute minute bro Trying to trying to make it to some of y'all are hanging out of your camera frames, so this is difficult. Well, look at the stream, guys. Try to fix yourself accordingly. So we're going. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just look at right here. Get us a good screen to look at while we're on the cat while we're on stream, and we're gonna go ahead and click this. All right, so Gandalin. Yes, sir. You were separated from your group. Intentionally I was. so. Yeah. You went oh, over no, to no, the no, other no. gates to try to help some veterans that had been put onto that side of the city. Sir Hige and a small outfit had broken off from you in this main outfit on the gates to go clear out some of the undead that had made their way into the city from the river itself, coming up through the icy river. The undead had broken through the gates you slowing them down with your bow and with some spells essentially allowing this group to escape with their lives barely but just enough help to have them escape you now follow along top the rooftops as you have an outfit of veteran soldiers 
trying to make their way as quickly as possible through the city towards the Crimson Monastery. Your path, as well as your companion's path, are converging if they were not impeded. I will say it does not take a very high passive perception like yours to notice the very large giant that is walking through the streets of Aetur, standing head tall, head taller than some of the buildings that are around her. As you are on top, you see this walking through the streets, coming from the Crimson Monastery and going towards the side of the river, which you know your friends are at. All right. At this point, is the mental link still up? Uh, yes, I think you guys have just a bit more time on that. Maybe 15 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe. Okay. When's the last time you cast that, our team? It was right before we split up, right? Yeah, it was just before we split up. So however long we've traveled. Right, but you've, you've traveled and Gandalin split up before that, though, because... He did, he was not at the river with you guys fighting. Remember? Right. It was it was before it we was originally split tracks. when we were all together at the train tracks when I split to head to check on the walls, Crowley went to check on the mob, and they went to check out the river. That was when it got cast. Right. So yeah. say about the last third of that spell, so about <laughs> twenty minutes is left on it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess is it is it is it a fair question to ask if this would have been immediately shared over the mental link that they had run into Yidril. That's up to our party here. I'm going to say um, we're not into initiative quite yet, but Yidril steps up at this point, sort of in between you all, and it's just kind of silent. Well, you also said that the Citadel, like, just sort of came out of light speed over the whole fucking city the, yes the for the fortress just sort of appeared there um and then like almost at the same time Yidril showed up in the street in front of us with a giant and like a dozen dudes not at not at the same time it seemed like a short time afterwards but you guys just sort of saw that pop up over the crimson monastery as you were making your way towards uh uh nighthold further into the city and after you see that a couple of minutes later maybe that they round the corner in front of you gotcha. yeah y yeah i would i i think archon would have told gandolin hey, you here you have to you have to destroy that thing in the in the citadel so he can't use it we'll try to hold them off or distract them as long as we can I don't know if I can. I wouldn't know how to go about it. Break. I have how Jones, did you ever decide exactly how many veterans I had left here? Uh I think we decided on you know what, I'll decide that right now for you. Give me give me just a moment. Okay. Damn. Uh via the luck of the roll. You have 31 with you, below you. That's all that survived the wall? Was 30 veterans? You have 31 sort of immediately below you. Like, oh. in, in, like holy shit. <laughs> okay. About, you're talking about a line of about 200 people that have, like got out of there before you did. So leaving in troops and sections, you have about a troop of 31 immediately available to you. Okay. Okay, I don't even know if Malevanor would let me destroy it, and I couldn't make it. Stall as long as you can. I'm going to try to bring what, what help I can with me. Uh, I'm going to blink down to these 31 and just fucking try to blink down in front of me. Just like, hey, wait, hold! <laughs> what? Yisrael has taken the field. Ooh. Close by. Person in, who is causing this shit? Oh, Guy in also, charge. Okay. Enemy okay, commander. I to mention. Boris is a fucking traitor. Oh. 
shit. Sir H. It's just over the like fuck. Yep. Back to back out loud to these guys. One of you continue on to the Crimson Monastery. Warn Malevanor that he probably needs to destroy the ritual device. Ritual Regardless, device. yeah, just just tell him those words exactly. You come here. Gives him Fast the message, as sends him off. Like, yeah, just start sprinting in that direction. Perfect. The rest of the third to you. With me, we're gonna we're gonna reinforce the rest of the Shining Vanguard and hopefully some loyalist royal troops. Okay. Commander Boris is a turncoat. Kill him. Shrugs and nods at the moment. I'm, I'm going to turn and I'm going to lead this column uh, in the direction I saw Abraxian. Give me a persuasion check at the end of that. Let's see with advantage. With advantage, okay. Tell, tell them they just killed their commander. Get them all fired up. Turn, turn these warriors into berserkers. <laughs> at advantage, uh, I, I don't. I think I don't have a great bonus persuasion. That is a fifteen with advantage. Okay. A couple of curious glances back and forth towards each other. We'll uh, we'll investigate when we get there. Sure. I did. did y'all, y'all told me that Sir Hish is dead. Yeah, Azure just, uh, yeah. just, just did. Name told you for us, traitor. Gotcha. Yes. If it sways you at all, I evidently he in his in in turning his coat, he struck down Sirhish. They start to pick up the pace behind you. Uh, Gano and I am going to say this: We talked a little bit before stream. You're fifteen fifty feet away, one thousand five hundred fifty feet away from the epicenter of what is going on right here these veterans cannot move as fast as you can right uh the thing is my thought is i i i know the direction that abraxi is in i don't know exactly where he is to direct them without being able to lead them i'm assuming from that far away this is your city does your background say anything about knowledge of the city um it just says I can navigate uh, cities very, very effe- effectively. Um, gosh, right. Uh, I don't know where that is in my thing. Yeah, uh, you know the secret patterns and flow to cities and can find passages through urban sprawl that others would miss. When you are not in combat, you and companions of the lead can travel between any two locations in the city twice as fast as your speed would normally allow. Okay. Twice as fast as your speed would normally allow. Their speed, which are, they're your allies currently, would get them there in 26 rounds. Get them there twice as fast. That's 13 rounds. And Ganwin needs to consider the position and if he wants to continue leading them for 13 rounds, knowing what could happen in just under a few seconds or if you'd like to break out from there and try to give them a location to go to if you wanted to do that i would give you a survival check at advantage to give them a location to go to like the store okay. or something okay. like that i'll get i want to give I, i'll take that survival check i'm specifically because i know you is a spellcaster um fuck <laughs> unfortunately even at advantage that is a 17 17 is not bad for a city that you are very familiar with seeing abroxy's head above the buildings seeing the direction that they're going knowing where your friends are coming from in years of living and stealing and fighting in this city they're gonna meet around the arches Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. As I'm jogging, I'm gonna turn. I can get there faster. They are going to converge at the arches. Once you get close, split into into three groups of ten and try to approach it from three different angles so that you're all not bunched up together. If we're already fighting, 
you fight the people that myself and my companions are fighting. If not, try to not make yourselves known until battle is joined. Duh. Yeah. Onto the, the roof. Fuck? And you hear armored soldiers running through the street towards the direction you've uh, painted them on. Uh, please do the math for me on you getting there. Uh, for 1,550 feet? Yes. I can move 150 feet around. So I can get there in just over 10 rounds. 10 rounds. By myself. Divide it in half. Divide, oh, so if I can cut it in half... Um, Ten rounds, so I can get there in five. This is 1550 feet. Because uh, that means it's effectively, I'm just, I'm, if we just want to do easiest math, I'm effectively having to travel 775 feet. There you go. So 150 feet around, I'll get there in 5.17 rounds. So I'll get there on the sixth round. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Um, and you know you'll be there at the top of that round, Shining Vanguard. What are those initiatives? 25 plus to 20, please. 25. 25 for Crowley. Very nice. <sighs> um, all right. Anybody else in the 25 plus to 20 crowd? No? All right. 20 to 15. 19. 19 for Milo. 15. 17. Okay. Um, give me one second, Kashik and Gorum. Milo, what is your dexterity? 14. 14. Okay, that puts you before them. It puts you before them as well. Oh, but it puts you after him and her. Um, apologize for the long pauses if you would like to uh, take over any sort of narrative that's going on inside your mind right now to share with the stream please do so our town's initiative was also 15 okay uh, but before we get get to that uh, hello of course um, Kashik and Gorham what were those initiatives 15 Seventeen. Got a plus three dex. Is your I believe yours is two, right, Kashi? Correct. So. Roll off. And you said seventeen, Gorum. Sir. What's your dex? Uh, low. Uh, eleven. Okay. All right, and Gorum. Um, God damn it, dude. This is this is a fuck zone on this initiative. There's a right lot now. going on. There's a lot of lot going on right now. A lot of dudes. Guys, if I miss any of you, make sure we're paying attention and please call me out on it. I'm not trying to miss any of you guys. Sold. All right. Um, and then Gorum. All right, 15 to... Oh, wait. Our team was also a, a 15. Hmm. So that's our team and then Kaushik? Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, 15 to 10. 10. Anybody else? 15 to 10? I, I believe I'm the only one that hadn't done initiative, right? Okay. All right. Um, you said you got 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, DM, do you want me to go ahead and roll, or do you want to wait until I arrive for me to roll into initiative? Um... You can just wait, wait before you get here. Just keep okay. track of the rounds that that we're going okay. through. 
You got it, boss. You know, uh, Crowley, I'll go ahead and tell you, you're at the top of initiative. And then Azure. Okay. I think that's everybody. So, I'm just going to turn this off because I don't want to go, th go through all that. Um, just so everybody's got a lot of moving parts. Uh, top of the initiative, Crowley, what would you like to do? I would like to immediately begin by giving everyone uh, some of my lovely um, bardic inspiration. And I'll do so as like, everyone back up, stay frosty, watch the caster. I'm not sure how Milo got in front of everybody. Damn it, Milo. <laughs> Jumping the gun. Okay, let's get a performance check in. Base of 18. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so everybody that is here, sans Gandwin, uh, everybody, you have a D10 inspiration dice, put it off to the side uh, next to your D20 or whatever. Make sure you remember it. Okay. And does it say every ally? Does it have a limit on it? Remind me, I don't remember. Well, uh, let me go ahead and uh, read that out. Of time. Let's see. Because you made it spirited storyteller. An inspiration die to all allies within earshot. Okay. So that is going to include a Gariel and, uh, and Jeremiah, correct? Not Boris, though. Yes, sir. And definitely and, not Boris. Not Boris. And all of the troops, right? I mean, one second. Does he say the key phrase that, you know, are, does he say it? the troops friendly? We're you about guys to don't find know. Out. <laughs> does, he, does he say the activation code? That's all I got to say. You don't, you don't hear anything yet? All right, cool. All right. That'll stand. Um, I'm not... Actually, I will take a step back because I think, yeah, I'm outside of range. I will take a step back. You probably, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know. You know, he has a reach weapon. Uh, so it does. Let's see. One, two, two, two. Then we won't. This is good. This is good. Everything's so red. Oh, I'm red. red. I blend in. He can't see me, right? <laughs> Wrong. I will write it up just so everybody can see it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, um, man. I'm the bard. I had to try. Uh, for now, my eyes are more on Yidril, So, But I'm keeping a uh, lookout on this guy beside us. I'll end my turn. Okay. All right. Uh, ending your turn brings us to Abraxia. Oh. Wonderful. Love that for us. Just go oh. throw a rock at Crowley. What if, what if she just did, though? <laughs> that light models look sick. Her bone night models. See her axe sort of float out of her hand as her hands reach up, grabbing onto the arches on either side of her crumbles off the first two sort of just small rocks and debris falling off on the side uh right here above her just crushing these two things a little sign falling that says the arch is in Carnathy, just sort of falling and to the ground and she's gonna throw some rocks um The first one sails over you and outright kills this guy behind you, Gorham. Oh, <laughs> she's going for Gorham. <laughs> I don't, I don't want any more of that. I ain't got no more to give. Shh, shh, shh. she doesn't know that. 
project strength. <laughs> the other one. I need to do this faster, my bad, guys. All right, the other one. Crowley, that's a 30 to hit you. Sure, why not? I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Yo, she, I mean, she's all like, she's still all like crippled up in her knee, right? You can't see me. Damn it. <laughs> she got a short rest, homie. Her knee's as good as new. Shit. It's fifth edition. They're all X Factor. <laughs> Probably you take 36 points of bludgeoning damage as a piece of this arc just flies at you, colliding into you and sort of like almost pinning you up against this house, breaking and splintering some of the wood right here against this like tall sort of uh, boarding house. Um, and... So I have cover now? <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, all right. And that's going to bring us to Boris's turn. And he is going to use his turn. The turn. And he looks at the rest of y'all. His eyes moving past you and two the soldiers behind you. No leadership is in a tour. The day you will continue your duty and continue to serve Karnath. All right, he's gonna use his, that's his action. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave it at that. He is going to, he's actually just gonna start stepping towards, as he says that, and starts walking this way, away from you and towards the rest of his allies. Um, Milo, that's going to bring us to your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, Skype is being super laggy. Sorry about that. Um, just a quick over the mental link. Fight or flight. They both. <laughs> Eyes in the sky. <laughs> I, I don't uh, think no that's what he's asking. <laughs> no one's in counter spell range yet. If you have anything with a hundred twenty foot range with big fucking AOEs, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, that was the, there were there were two options. That was one of them. Milo gonna hit um, him with the get well, some. Uh, she she already eaten rocks, so uh, taking a step back. Those anchors launching out of his armor to mount himself into the ground as all of the perforated plates sprout up all over his armor. Thug a thug a thug a thug a thug. We cast in fireball. Okay. Go ahead and draw up that radius for me, please. Milo said, Attention, all bitches. <laughs> no, that is not what he said. He said, Fuck. You got it, you got it, you got it. All six is baby. The dream. I know there's a way to make it stick, but I can't remember what it was. That's fine. That's all I need. That's where you're where you're going for it. Yep. Okay. Did anybody else answer? I'm chilling behind a rock. Sorry. You're chilling under a rock. <laughs> Close enough. And should have already allowed to answer me mentally. Yeah, you can, you uh, six words. Six off words off turn. turn, correct. We distract them to like gambling. 
do what he needs to do. 33 points of fire damage. 33 points. Okay, gotcha. Over the average. Let's go. Dab. I always, I know Brittany, I always know Brittany's got my back on the dab. Gotcha. Okay. There's a lot going on here. I know it's a lot of saving ghosts. <laughs> they all failed spectacularly. Incorrect. Damn it. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. All right. Uh, Milo, what else for your turn? Got to mute it. I wasn't saying anything important. I just said how momentous. Um, Milo will take a five foot step forward to be Now you're not coming through. Huh? You said some more words. Your mouth moved. No audio. You're going to take a step forward in what? I'm uh, going to stand next to Crowley and look over his shoulder saying back to the soldiers in response to what uh, Boris said there is no car there is no Carnath with Idril okay. and ignite that force sword let's go all right you can go ahead and remove your uh, your measurement right there Sending out your explosion. Pfft, fireball fills the hallway. Did you have something else as well? Uh, just the stepping forward and what he said. Um, I can't move my character for whatever reason. Did Did any of these individuals on the other side of this fireball react to being fireballed? Say that one more time. Did any of the individuals that just got hit by a fireball, or Milo's version thereof, react to being hit by a fireball? I'll, I'll describe in a moment. Okay. So um, I'm not, I'm not, like, I have Tailspire launched, but mine still says waiting on GM. Hmm. I'll try to summon you to the board. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Clear your permission. All right, now you, sh you should be able to control your model. Yep, I got it. Okay. All right, so you move up, up to Crowley. All right. Using your action on the fireball in this range. Oh my God, why did it change all of my colors? Oh no, it didn't. They're just very similar. Why would I do that to myself? Okay. Your fireball goes off, filling the arches in this uh, in this road. A few moments, fire settles down, the smoke settles down. You have a couple of them flame, licking their their accoutrement, their gear. It hurt. 
some of them. They don't seem to be too concerned about it at the moment. As one squadron of the Bone Knights move fully past, uh, fully past Boris and sort of, oh, I still got all of them selected. And squad up right here. Uh, I'm actually going to move them one back. Not moving their full 60. Okay. Um, that's their turn. These soldiers in the middle do not seem to be too reactive to what Boris said and seem to be caught just completely by surprise about what is going on. Same for the first group. Third group. Shit. You see this group in the back take out weapons as these first three groups seem to be sort of in some sort of just confused moments of not, not sure what's going on, unsure of who who is ally and who is foe just sort of looking at you all looking at boris looking at sir his dead body and then from the very back line you hear a just squelch of blood screams and metal as the back line starts attacking the soldiers in front of them stop taking my roofs off not ready for that uh I gotta roll some attacks. Damn, these guys suck. Clever that guy. That guy apparently. these two on the oh, i'm sorry that's the wrong one and two of them are pierced through the others just quick enough to react and defend themselves from the soldiers behind them uh after their turn gorham that's you what are you doing That's what I'm doing. Um, well, why howdy? We're in a spot, brother. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Uh, give me a second. Gotta, there's just a lot going on, so. You're telling me, brother. Stop deleting the buildings, damn it. Eagle's going to use a legendary action. You see as he steps off the ground, this uh, the uh, scythe's still in his hand. Some arcane energy just sort of crackling around his fingers as he does. Flies up and above his bone knights. All right. What you doing, Gorm? Oh, Lord. I almost started going into a... The national anthem there. Um, oh, fuck, dude. Uh, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to raise my hammer. Men, do not falter. They will see your your, uh, your family and loved ones slain to a man. We must fight. And I'm going to turn around. 
I'm going to ask a question here. Are you trying mm -hmm. to use your action to persuade these people behind you? Really? These soldiers. Okay. You can do that. You can do that. You are going against Boris's yeah, yeah, check yeah, against yeah, each yeah. for each of these squadrons. Why is my... Yeah. Persuasion. Ooh. Uh. How high in the air is he, Drew? He's up there. That is a 25. 25. All right. We are going to be rolling roll four for me. One for green group, one for blue group, one for pink, one for red. Hmm. So that first one was a 25. 25 on green, correct. Okay. I'm going to say this makes sense to me. One of them was just crushed by a rock. That one's an 11. Okay. Ooh, that one is a 26. Okay. <laughs> that was another 11. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that plays out about as narratively as it fucking could have. I'm going to be real with you. Um, so this group in front of you starts like looking up at the, the fucking giant that came along with Yidril and their dead comrade sort of on the ground. And they look like they're getting ready to, to assist. Um, the group behind that, not so sure. And the group behind them hearing your words and sort of reacting all turn on these soldiers in the back to defend themselves from the onslaught that's coming from behind them so the only group that is currently waffling about with the decision right now is blue um all right and blue baby and you moved up a little bit right yeah okay i don't know if i want to go up there now now that he's all there Stop measuring. Is, is that the end of your turn? Uh, I am going to, as I run up, I'm going to kind of swing the hammer off to the right and use the, uh, the I forget what it's called, gigantic leap or whatever it is to yeet myself into this uh, alleyway. Okay. How many more times can you do that? I know some proficiency amount of times per day. Uh, let me look. Where the character sheet go? How many times have I done it today? That's a good question. That is a good question. Check the footage. <laughs> Roll the instant replay. That's a, that's a lot of episodes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so we know you uh, used it at least right here. I'm trying to remember of other instances. I'm pretty sure you used it at the in the alleyway mm -hmm. way back when, or the not the alleyway, but when the necromancer attacked you in the streets right. to get one. on top of the roof. So that's two. Uh, and I th he he. Uh, I thought you did you you thunder stepped onto the roof. That's, oh, that's true. Uh, that uh, that not, was his not one big step. leap. So I think you got three left. I think well, yeah, I think you have full uses. I'm fucking yeeting it, boy. All right. All right he's breaking their ankles like I'm running at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bonus action, 30 feet into there. Go for it. 30 feet this way. Yep. Go ahead and roll it up. Roll, roll it up. Roll it up. Go ahead and move yourself over there. <laughs> That's a new feature. <laughs> you only fly a number of feet equal to like a uh, athletics check. <laughs> Take those, oh, no. brother. Natural one. You go seven feet. There's <laughs> a 24 to hit your armor class there, Gorum. Oh, I'm getting hit, brother. All right. As this bone knight swipes at you. Sorry guys, I'm having to read off my laptop and stuff. 
For five <laughs> damage. Damn, that's crazy. Five damage. Okay. They they rolled minimum. They do three damage. <laughs> they have a plus two modifier. <laughs> that's it. What's their bone bonus? Their boneness. Well, you're about to find out, brother. Please, no. You're going to take 11 points of slashing damage as, he, as you jump across and he takes the opportunity, takes his great sword and just swings up at you, ca- catching like the bottom half of your leg. Feels good. All right. Uh, ending your turn there, Gorm, that is going to bring us to you, RTM. How tall or how high in the air is Yidril? Yidril is currently 10 feet in the air. 10 feet in the air. Correct. All right. Should have done some measuring beforehand. Damn. Unfortunate. Uh, Hold on. I'm uh run inside this doorway right here. You're gonna run in what doorway? This doorway right behind uh if I can move my guy, come here. Doorway right here. Hopefully oh. green guys aren't trying to kill us. No, you see them kinda of looking up at uh at uh, the giant that dropped one of them just a moment ago. Are you trying to open that door? Yeah. Is it locked? Hello. Always high. Always high. It is a 75. It is unlocked. Yeah, I'm just going to, I guess, object interaction, get into the doorway. And being, like, adjacent to that guy, uh, fire a wall of thorns, starting with those first two bone knights and going all the way back into the last two bone knights, right in the middle of it. This, all right, draw draw where you're trying to do this. And I assume you're doing this before you step back because you don't have a line of sight right now. No, I mean, I, did the doors open outwards? Yes. Okay. Uh, can I cast it while I'm squeezing past that guy? Well, I mean, you, you can cast it like wherever, just before you get into the building, I assume. Okay, sure. Perfect. Uh, that right there is where I'm casting it, but it's 10 feet wide, so. But it's 10 feet wide? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And how tall is it? It's just under Yidra. It's only 10 feet tall. Okay, it's under Yidra. So you're hitting all of those guys. And I rolled, pre-rolled it. It is 35 magical piercing. Okay. Dexterity saving throw, DC 17. And I got to roll a D20. Succeed. Woo! And is that half? Uh, uh Yes, yeah, save this... for half. Okay, what was the damage again? 35. 35's half is 17. Right. Oh, Lord, got to bring up my calculator. That's the thing I need to do. And, and teacher said that we wouldn't be able to just always have a calculator when we needed them. Look at us now. All right. And then for Mr. Boris... Yikes. It's under each one for then this squad back here. Is there what's your DC? 17. So we get for this guy. Uh, for 17 points of damage, right? So that's is uh 33, I think. Oops. Yes, 33. Okay. And I rolled a four on my staff so that it is not broken. <laughs> is that all of your charges for it today? Yeah, all okay. of them. And then one more. Uh, 
and she gets an 18. Uh, which is 34. Okay. Alrighty then. Casting the wall of thorns, just ripping up through this middle. You see several of the bone knights just completely encased in briars and 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 uh, thorny vines at this point. What else are you doing for your turn? Uh, bonus action. Um, like well, familiars can't use magical objects, can they? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, then that will be it for my turn. Okay. Ends your turn there. Um, Egil is going to cast a spell. He doesn't have to. Speak now forever. Hold your peace. No. Matt, you're muted. No, I'm muted. I'm just looking at how far away from me he is. Apparently, <laughs> familiars can use magic items. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, familiars I'm gonna, can use as, magic items. As long as they're capable of activating, so it depends on appendages. And, all right, cool. So yeah, I'm gonna counterspell that, gents. Okay. Uh, roll a d20 for me. Right. Is this on his turn, or is this with a legendary? This is a legendary just, action. Okay. I'm I'm constructing a <laughs> the table of of turn order. <laughs> I rolled a fourteen. I'm gonna double check what I need to add that. So nineteen total. Yep. All right. All right, your counter spell goes off. His spell fizzles out of his hand. He looks right at you. Um, My mask contorts and screams at him. <laughs> yeah, start hitting him with the weird shit. Let's go. <laughs> I can. I can give the DM pause for a second. Like, oh, I'm killing. Familiars him. can <laughs> use magical items, is what I've been told. I'm gonna trust you guys. What what would uh, your familiar have done there, our team? Um. I technically couldn't have done it because I'd have to have used another object interaction to hand it to him. Gotcha. Any okay. All right, Pashik, that brings us to your turn. Right, right. So there is a long fight ahead, and Kashik is running on E. Got that low HP, got them low spell slots, so. I feel like now is as good a time as any for her to take a breath and look within herself to see if she can give herself some kind of boost here. So I'm going to roll for Divine Intervention. Roll it up. Okay, so I have to roll a 12 or lower. <laughs> Got this. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. And it's a percentile that, so that's D100, right? Okay, just making sure. D100. Come on, Brittany. No, no, no. It did not work. It is a 65. Yeah. You reach in. Try to find that. That light that you found back in Zoriat when everything was so dark. You open your eyes back up. Nothing. I'm just so tired. <laughs> I'm just so tired. That's an action, I believe. It is an action, yeah. Bonus action and movement. What would you like to do? Um. Hmm. Let me see. Look around me real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. Is Azur on his dragon? Dragon, correct. Can I reach him? Yeah, you can reach up and touch yeah. Azure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For my bonus action, I'll just uh, hit Azure with the guidance. Inflict wounds. Hmm? I said inflict uh -huh. wounds. <laughs> no, no. Just the guidance. That's all. Okay. Uh, but no, no movement. I'd like to stay where I am. Stay where you are. Okay. All right. What that guidance do? Remind me. D4 to uh, a skill you... check, right? Yeah. Yeah, D4 to a skill check. So not attack rolls or damage, but any sort of Correct. skill check that you need to do. Skill check. 
I will say that is also concentration, so in, in mm -hmm. case that comes up. Mm -hmm. All right, ending your turn there, Kaushik. That is going to bring us to a Garial. Um. Ooh, boy. A Garial. Oh, my boy, don't do it. He's out of his fucking element. And he's not... He's not the smartest, but he's not the dumbest either. Oh, thank God. I was like, please, no. No, no suicide charge. Please, a carryall. He was very inspired by my speech. He was going, ah! His... <laughs> oh, God. However, he is pretty good at this. So... You guys see him pop up onto this wall right here and try to get out of the flying guy's line of sight. He's going to try. Yeah. Uh, actually, he can probably smart this a little bit better. Um, Holy shit. Yeah. That's what I did, brother. Oh, He's hustling. Parkour. You guys see a Garial, um like he looks and he sees this wooden building that has like the wooden slats on the side holding it together. He looks up at it and just like water, like without issue, pulling himself up, uh, climbs up there. I'm gonna use a bonus action to hide. Um, Let's go. Okay, Come on. that's okay. I still think it beats their passive, maybe. It does. Not a lot, but it does. Let's go. Let's go. Um, let's movement bonus action and action. Uh, he's gonna throw a dagger at this bull knight right here. Let's go. Insta kills him. Probably not, but he's gonna, he's gonna do his best to help. Damn, my boy. Come on. Bro, Gary, I'm trying to jack my swag. That's my jacket. No oh, man. He's your, he's your number one fan. It was that time I punched him in the face. He was just like, this dude knows what's up. Game respects game. Uh, he gets up there. He hides, hides behind it, brings out a dagger, gives a slight, like, crooked smile, brings out the dagger, throws it, and it just, pink, right off the bone armor and down to the ground. Um, and that's a Uriel's turn as he goes. My boy. And tries to, like, get as much cover behind the roof as he can. Um, that's a Gariel's turn. Which brings us to Beedrill's turn. We were on a roll. This this combat tracker is so long. <laughs> this has so many people here. It's not gonna be a three session combat. Everyone gets oh. one turn per session. I like you. I like your 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 fucking how positive you are. <laughs> like you're this. Roll really well. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not going where I want it. That is going ten feet inside of the building. Just FYI. Uh oh. So we're at twenty. Go to. 50. He's about to put y'all in the bone zone. Oh no. That is 50. Oh. I don't, okay. I don't like what's happening. Here. You know, it's too bad that the guys that you convinced to help us are about to die. <laughs> James! <laughs> Half of them. We're gonna fight the tyranny! <laughs> Oh man, this is what bad. if he casts like cure wounds? Hell yeah, mass cure wounds. He's like, I want it to be an even fight, and he just heals everybody. Uh, Agariel is a lucky bitch today. Um, I need, I need everyone, I need everyone but Gorum to make Constitution. Wait a minute, Constitution saving throws. Like it is what I think it is. <laughs> Not 
good. Huzzah for proficiency. Whatever he's throwing, it ain't good. Probably didn't pass, but it wasn't bad. Okay, let's go in order here. Crowley. Rolled up a 17. Not a success. 59 points of necrotic damage. Milo. 21. Just succeeds. Half damage for 20... Not nine. What was the total? 59. 59 down to 28. 28, 28 or 29, points. depending on how you have it. 28 points of necrotic damage halved again because you are currently resistant to necrotic damage. And then I had the shield, so I take four to my hit points. Nice. Nice, uh, nice, nice. Kashik. 17. Kashik is down. Kashik passes out. Azur. 22. 22. Just succeeds. Mazarth. Oh, shit. Oops. Now I am. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's a roll of a 19. What is his? Let's go. Uh, saving throws. Da, 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 da. Wait, can I have rolled my d10 on that? Hmm. That is, that's 29 points because half would be, that'd be up to 58. Yeah. So 29 points of those yeah, to sorry. succeeded. Uh, 21. Can I, roll, can I have rolled my d10 for that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can I, can I re retcon? You can retcon. What does it bring uh, your total up to? Oh, let me roll it. <laughs> she said, you, you need a four yet. or higher, <laughs> Brittany. I do have a d10 in here. How much was the half damage again? What does that bring 29. up to your total to? 22. 29 points of necrotic damage. Woo! Mazarth takes 29 points of necrotic damage. RTM. I, I failed. I rolled nine. 59 points of necrotic damage. Um. Okay. This first wave of soldiers all fall down. Even if they succeed. My character sheet just disappeared. Also, the thorns are not there anymore. Because, yeah, I didn't make a constitution or a, <laughs> a concentration A DC check. 29. You, you 29. should be able to remove the measurements. Oh, yeah. Um, and then an important role. Is it Jeremiah? Correct. Constitution's not bad. Come on, buddy. And he's got a D10 if he needs it. He does have a D10 if he needs it. And he is proficient. I can hear my heartbeat in my ears. You know like, I, 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 like, I can feel it. <laughs> okay. When I updated my HP, my character sheet went down. It picked um, up. I, th I think I have it. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you as soon as I, I get it. You're fine. Order. You're fine. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Um, okay. Deidre flies up. His hands crackling with this energy hits the ground, the stone ground in front of you. It traces up the walls and through the floor. And as it does, you just see the hands of the dead reaching up. And as they do, just start pulling life from you uh, in this massive wave of energy. Uh, those are, did, did Kaushik stay up with that hit, by the way? Yes. Okay. The entirety of the front row of soldiers immediately behind you falls, as too does Jeremiah. No! Um,
see it's right here. You see Eidrel, as he floats up here onto this roof, looking down at all of you after this spell just rips through, through all of you. Uh, sort of reaches into his pocket and starts palming something, looking down at you, Kashik. throws it down from the roof as it hits the ground and sort of rolls in front of you. Looks like a little bit smaller than your fist uh, sized clear and white gem. A diamond. The first one is on me, girl. Yeah, you will watch all of them so die. Much. Um... And that's going to be the end of his turn there. That's going to bring us to Azura. What would you like to do? <laughs> hey, this is a fight we can't win. <laughs> This is a fight we can't. <laughs> what we you can't doing, Azur? Uh, we gotta get moving. This is a big combat, yeah. man. We gotta get through it. What you doing? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna hop up off Mazarth. Order him to go up. Bonus action. Order him to go up. Um, 30 feet. Okay. Use my action <clears throat> to Drake's breath okay. fire. I'd like Mazarth to make a wisdom saving throw when he tries to move. Okay, he doesn't move. <laughs> What's the roll? Uh, six. Is the roll, and let's see. Twelve would be total. Twelve total. You see Mather Mazarth go to obey your orders? Oh, wait. He would have a ten, right? A ten? A d10. Yes, he would He's also have animal. a D10. I yeah. think we decided that last time. He is a creature. If you would like to save that, what was your total before the D10? Uh, it was 12. 12? Okay, what'd you roll? I rolled an 8. So 20, 30, 20. Gotcha. As there takes 5 step foot forward, going to obey your orders, and he just locks up. All right, in that case. <sighs> I'll re-summon you, buddy. You want to make sure that's how that ability works first? How, how which ability works first? That you can unsummon and resummon him. I, I, I just want to make sure before you unsummon Mazarth. Oh, I wasn't unsummon. I was just teasing. I was just oh, saying. Oh, an anticipating his death? Yes. Got you. Okay. All right. You still got your action and your movement. What are you doing? We... Trying to look it 
into here with Artyom. Go into there with Artyom? Yeah. Okay, sort of stepping across bodies a bit, but you're able to get into there. Anything else? Uh, yeah, can I pick up Jeremiah? I'm drag him in there with me. You still got your action, so yeah. If you want to use yeah. your action to pick him up, that's what I'm gonna do. In there. Sure, I'll I'll allow that. Um, object interaction to pick him up and then drag him in. Using your whole action, bring him across there. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Uh, yeah, that'd be it. Because okay. I can't cast anything on bonus spells, can I? Yeah, no. Okay. Um, and in your turn there, Azor, top of the round, back to oh. Crowley. Uh, and, sorry. What's up? Uh, and then just saying, through the mental link, we need to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, doing that. That is going to bring us, yeah, no, top of the round, Crowley. What are you doing? What am I doing indeed? Hurting uh, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, the priorities have changed, as it were. <laughs> da, 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 da. Um... I'm going to throw up. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up first of all. Okay. Because I don't, I don't want line of sight on me. Yeah, go Let's ahead and move yourself to where you'd like to be. There you go. Okay. I have 10, 15. Uh, 20, I think, right? 20. Hey, okay, sure. Maybe. I think you're right here, but no, you're behind Sir Hitch, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. So I was right next to Milo. Damn, 15 feet. Okay. All right. I'm going to say over the mental leak, we need to get out of here. <laughs> That's I what I just said! Shh, I know what you said. And then he's going to turn around and he's going to, uh, like, right on Sergei's body, he's going to cast, uh, let's see where it's at. I'm sorry. I want to make sure. He's going to cast Wall of Force right there. <laughs> Tall and high up, like, covering uh, from the buildings, etc. Which I believe can be up to... 10 10 foot by 10 foot panels stacked on top of each other 10 10 foot by 10 foot panels yeah so at least like blocking a majority like so we'll, we'll do 20 and then we'll go 10 20 30 40 50 how high can i get this thing actually, actually you know what a bubble around us all right now that'll that'll work Right from uh, where Milo is around us, unless Milo's in the sky higher than he is on what I'm seeing here. Yeah, he is. Okay, so I will... you're going to put a wall in front of Milo here running like across yeah. the street? Yeah, it's going to be a perfect sphere all around us. <laughs> Those that are in the bubble, and we're going to just hold that there. Okay, so your sphere is 10 foot in radius or diameter? Let's see. I thought it was diameter. Let me double check for you, DM. Uh, a radius of up. To, I'm sorry, it's radius of up to ten feet. Radius of up to ten feet. So. So if it needs to back up a little bit, I don't know if it can. Maybe he's just on the edge of it. I'm just protecting everyone while I can, while everyone gets a little bit of movement. Can't, allies can't pass through a wall of force, right? Yeah. No yeah allies. Yeah. Allies can't. So. Nobody can pass through it. Yeah, no one yeah. can pass through it. If you do that wall of force, we're stuck here. If you do it in the sphere. If I do it in a sphere, you're right. I'm trying to figure out, like, if, if you I do can it in just... a wall, Yudel's just going to fly over it. It he is, it's true. But it might block off the yeah, shit. Yeah. That I'm is trying to block actually off fucking the action economy. Yeah. <laughs> you could do, uh, like, that kind of shape, like, up and then up out of an angle. Yeah, let's do, like, a, a sled wall like that, DM, if we can, as high up as possible. Okay. And curving back. All right, I'm just going to make sure I know <laughs> where, real quick. Right. Um, Because... There's an important part of this, depending on where you're casting this. Gorham is in the alleyway next to you. If you put your wall right here or or further back or anything, Gorham is going to be stuck on the other side of that wall. 
Then we'll move it up to like the first two uh, Bone Death Knights. Then actually, that should still be within my range completely. Okay, so kind of cast. I think it would be behind these two. Yeah, to those seal two. off everything else. So there would only be two Bone Knights on this side of it. If you did a wall of force right there, Yudra would be on the inside of it. So that well, kind of, it, won't, gonna, it won't go up high enough anyway. Yeah, it's not going to go up high enough anyway, and Yudra's going to fly over it. I just don't want any more things flying this way. Uh, how how high is wall of force? Uh, ten. Uh, ten. Uh, sorry, you can stack a uh, flat surface made up of ten, ten foot by ten foot panels. <laughs> so this street is twenty feet wide. So mm -hmm. that would be fifty foot tall to get ten ten foot panels. Yeah. Here, here's what you do, all right? Right. You put it right here, and you give Gorham a little space to s fucking swing on by. <laughs> oh, yeah, because if it's ten, if it's ten ten foot panels, mm -hmm. technically, yeah, he could, yeah, like Kent's saying, he could block it. He could block it off. Like he could do, you know, a ten foot panel that's technically like up against the building and goes here. And then it goes like another ten foot. The worst fucking spell in this game, I swear to God. Another another <laughs> ten feet that goes like in here. <laughs> and then we just keep going around now. Okay. It just stacks it up. If we're not gonna be able to stop Idril anyway, you could just box in the bone knights. I think that's yeah. what they're that, trying to do currently. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to, we're we're trying to close around. it off without bone without knights. screwing Gorm over, but also yeah. while not leaving bone knights on our side. Ideally, if it's high enough, it'll also keep Abroxia on the other side. That, that's also what <laughs> maybe we're trying to hope for here. If least. it's going 50 feet up, that's like more than twice her height. I don't know how many how much up she is. I don't know what her ups are looking <laughs> like. Can you grab the edge of a, of a wall of force or does it, is it like really slick? Is it just like you slide off? Like you, can you grab the top? I don't know. I'm Matt, sure that I, panel's I think... like in a jagged edge. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. How, how are you we casting need... this? 10, 10 foot squares. How do you want to use them? Uh, we'll do as a... How do you want to use this? How do I want to use this? Definitely we're just trying to cut off the bone knights. So actually, we could just... Sl... What's on the left side over there? Holy God. Turn those bone knights in the box knights. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, we're just going to cut it oh. diagonal so that it leaves Gorm space to slide through. So just okay. a straight diagonal right from edge to edge. I think this oh, cuts you your height up by a bit. Um, I won't... Don't who is... So. Five, what ten, is going on? This is right my measuring. Here. I don't know who else is There's measuring. There's a lot of measurements. This is where we're at right here. <laughs> What's that? Is that? That's 10 and 20 feet. So that's still 20 feet wide. It's just at it's doing this maneuver instead of being straight across. It's right. still 20 feet of wall. So it's, that's two panels Yeah. just so, at, at an angle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's still, that's still 50 foot high. It's just yeah. a, a triangle. Okay. Yeah. Sort of, sort of like that. So, that so we're cutting this at, and we're just going up. <laughs> okay. Brick, 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 like Lego blocks. Gotcha. <laughs> right in front of them, a large wall of force going up 50 foot high. I wish I could draw it a little Spoopy bit better. wall. Um, All right. Um, well, that's going on. I'm just going to go ahead and do that and lock it into place. There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to move uh, 20, 25, 30, just a little bit further in here. The alleyway. Gotcha. Yeah. Boom. All, All right. right. That ends my turn. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I just... Geometry. Chaos. <laughs> And no bonus action, so. <laughs> so, so where is the actual wall of force? It is, is a V shape in a, front of the bone knights. Yeah, it's a V shape towards us in front of the bone knights, going fifty feet feet up. Okay. Um. And she's very intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably about a shoulder check through this building. Oh, she's gonna climb up. I thought she was about to like fucking Mr. X this shit and just be like, yo, what's up? <laughs> what's good, Gorham? <laughs> you think you can run for me? <laughs> <laughs> Orum, you do hear, or Orum, 
Gorham, you do hear cracking of stone and brick and heavy armor above you. And you see just sort of towering above you on top. Uh, yeah. Once she gets up here, looks around, sees you down below her, see her hold up her hand and the axe flies into her hand I, I don't have my voice set any for her anymore uh how about i take your legs dwarf what do you have of them at least and that is going to be the end of her turn Damn. um she it's used rude. all of her movement uh boris is confused he's on the other side of a wall now a lot of stuff going on I thought Wall of Force was invisible. No, oh, it is opaque. Oh. Yep. I think Kralis is just, you know, souls, faces moving around, screaming at it people. Is, it is a, a transparent wall that is considered total cover for whatever reason. So take take that how you will. And yeah, Kralis described his as sort of like faces screaming up and stuff, right? I'm taking it as coveringly. Thank you, DM. And yes. Co coveringly, yeah. Covering faces. Um, I think he's just fucked. He's going to step up with these guys. And hold an action if someone comes on this side of the wall. Um, all right, ending Boris's turn. Milo, that brings us to you. What you doing? Cool, cool. Um, I don't see everyone as blurry jinx that might just be you I saw it for just a second so I think the, the stream quality might have just done a dip and then come uh, back it's possible checking the range on a spell Go ahead and say this. Cannot cast anything on the other side of the wall of force. I uh, familiar. Who's measuring a big spear? Is that you, Milo? Um, a big circle. Supposed to be running, but we have people behind us stopping with the, uh, all the red soldiers. Correct. I mean, there's there's alleys and shit. Yeah. And some of the other soldiers have already turned to square up with the the tra the that particular group of traders. Um, since we are falling back, uh, I'm already flying. Uh, the dragon also flying, or is he just there? No, nope, dragon is just currently held in place. I'm currently held in place. Um, no, why he's flying? What you doing, Milo? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and. I'm I'm over. Am I? Over? Yeah, okay. I'm over the dragon. You are you are now over. Oh, you're now past the dragon. Oh, I see. Okay. Flying over the soldiers. Um. We need to. This so. Bro, there's a. I left off the whole other group of bull knights on initiative. Perfect. That's fine. 
they're hanging out by us. They're just chilling. They got deactivated. Yep, they got hit with that fireball, and they said, "Ow." Angel forgot to pay his monthly fee. Forgot to pay for the DLC, you know. What? What? Angel's hitting us with the pay to win. Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course he is, bro. Okay. He works for the DM. What you got going on, Milo? Um, Milo has moved back near the Red Soldiers to. And you're flying to... five feet above the ground. Yeah, he's he's right over. Him. He's okay. Actually, he he's right there. Okay. He's about to teabag that soldier. All right, what you doing? That that was action and move action to get over there. So. Gotcha. All right. Um. Bonus action. Do any of the red dudes look hurt? Have any of them been hit in the melee between them and the purple? Uh, they have not gone again yet since the last, last little scuffle. The purple haven't at all. No. Neither neither of them have gone. The purple waffled around last time, not being unsure what to do, and then Gorum persuaded them after Red had already attacked them from behind. So none of the Red have been hit yet. We'll go ahead and zap one. Bonus action drone strike? Sure. Yep. Uh, We're just going to drone strike these guys. <laughs> oh, shit. USA! USA! <laughs> USA! <laughs> that one right there. Okay. Try and break this little clogged up thing we got going on. Roll it up. Yeah. Hit him with the plasma caster. That is a natural 20. Holy shit. Yeah. I guess if the drone is going to fuck shit up. Let's go. Roll a four. Two fours. A four and a one. Shit. Is that five points of damage? Uh, five plus four. Nine. Nine points of damage. Yes. As, you see as he's standing there getting ready to stab this other guy in front, his helmet just sort of dents in on one side. Just kong. I want this go away. Go away. Thank you. All right. Anything else for your turn? Me at neutral. Yes. Go, go away. Uh, two two other people have already said to run, so he will not feel the need to. Bone knight, right here. Presses on the wall. Um, see this one just sort of point a hand down this other alleyway right here. It's this one walks. They shouldn't be able to go that way, right? The way the panels are set up, it should, it should have them in a V, right? That's how it was described. All right. Well, is, is it in a V? Because the way it's drawn right now is straight across to the red building at a diagonal. Oh. No, it's a That's V. I'm sorry. Shit. I don't know. Yeah, who I don't know who drew sorry. that. It was supposed to be coming from the corners of. I don't have. I can't do God's flashlight because I'm not God. But the the corner that has the light, like, like where that. those two lights are. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Le yeah. Chevron. Because that allows it. That's two ten foot panels, and then all the rest of the panels going up fifty. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do that. We set that into place now. These guys get shoved back. Okay. All right. So, it changes it up a little bit. One sort of points behind as... Uh, three of them are going to be sent off as two stay. We use 30 feet of movement to get here. And then they go out of sight. Why are you, why are you right there? Why are you, why are you straggling? Oh, why are you moving to all of them? <laughs> all right. Boom. Um, into their turn. Soldiers. Two. Blue. Waffling about. Um. on the other side my 
I correct in assuming Shiny Vanguard still likes always high? No, we go on low this time. Hi, low. Hi. What is it? Okay. Oh, wait. Hi. Fuck you guys. Hi. Say it with respect. <laughs> Unfortunate. Never oh, lie. fuck. <laughs> um, seeing the predicament in there in and the foes that they're against. Uh, Blue is going to start attacking green in front of them. So they are now attacking his traitors. And green loyal. This hit. Hit, hit. Natural 20. Hit. Miss, miss. One hit on the first one. Miss hit, hit, hit. At twenty and a hit six nine six sky falls. These guys turn around. Whoa, they're doing a dance. Do a little dance. Uh I should have just selected them all and did this. I'll roll some more attacks. I uh, hit miss. Miss. That one's cocked. Miss. I uh, hit miss. So that's hit on one and three. And then hit miss on four. So that's only three hits on one, three, and four. It's gonna take five. It's gonna take two max damage. And then uh one hit on the last one. Or oh miss max damage. Ten is correct. Okay. You see some of the guys in, in the uh second to last squadron says we cannot fight whatever that is. We have to fight for ourselves here. Turn around and start plunging spears and swords and everything else in the in the guys around them. Um, ending their turn, that is going to bring us to the other all knights, um, who have not gone for two turns. Uh, so let's say they get moved up here and then move back thirty feet away from the wall. Uh, we're gonna go. They're gonna investigate inside. They already have people investigating the other side. Three are going inside and out of sight once more. Oh, well, I didn't realize you could grip a bunch of people and move them all at once. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, they just put that in. These Hell two yeah. are gonna step up. And worse, just in case this wall comes down, they don't know what's gonna happen. All right. That would have been so much easier when we had those four giant groups of undead that we were fighting that one time. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Um, I am glad it is in now, though. Uh, okay, sorry, guys. Lots of NPCs going. Gorm, it is now your turn. All right, so... Uh, she just looked down at me. Correct. She's currently okay. looking down at you. Supposed to take my legs? You look up at her and she's got like down on the knee that you hit earlier. So like her left knee and you see this odd like dark metal brace on either side and like screws going into the sides of her leg. It seems someone came up for it with a temporary fix. But while you think about that, actually, as I continue to cheat myself out of stuff, um, <clears throat> He's 
walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheat myself out of a drink refill. Okay, that's what I thought. Hello? Um, how come druids don't get counterspell? How come druids don't get counterspell? Yeah, how come druids don't get Yo, counterspell? Yo, man, I'm saying the same thing. <laughs> you stop that! Bow! Hit him with the nature wiggle. Oh, that's oh, it does. Attack. The nature wiggle. The nature wiggle. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do the otherwise it's not the nature wiggle. He's your mother hitting that wall of force with a good old disintegrate. <laughs> Possibly. Good, do it. Be better the wall than us. <laughs> yeah, do you do that? <laughs> Joke's on you. He can cast that spell at will. That's a cantrip for him. <laughs> you see him reach out with one hand, looks down at a Gariel as a sort of ghostly spectral blue hand flies across, hits him in the chest. And Agariel slips and stumbles a little bit, but is not not totally down. Let's go. He almost got, he almost got down by a cantrip. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Um, that is going to be that uh, legendary action for this turn. Uh, Gorum, what's doing? All right, I'm going to look up at her. Okay. And... Let's say, uh, oh Lord, um, bro, someone, someone driving by in a Camaro. Someone is escaping Carnath while they can. That's, that's the guy that brought our food. You guys hear in the distance a lightning <laughs> rail with, with a modified engine for some reason. Oh, at least they got out. Hopefully. It's the one on the ground. Bad. But yeah, oh, no. with yeah. a uh, with a smirk, I'm gonna say, if you're gonna try to sweep me off my feet, you should bring me some ale next time. And I'm gonna give her a wink, and I'm gonna run the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, like a fucking hero. Let's go. Woo, 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 woo. A double move, <laughs> fucking <laughs> running my ass off, boy. Okay. Let me just uh, ten. Uh -huh. All right, I'm back here now. Okay. All right. Does that end your turn? Yes. All right. Um. Uh, Idril, after hitting him once, Garyl stumbles back once. A chill touch, hitting him in the chest, but not quite putting him down. Idril looks at him once more. His hand conjures up the same energy. And natural 20s of Garyl. Um, is he close enough for me to negate the crit? Or is he across the wall of force? No, he's not across the wall of force. Read off read off the ability. Okay, one second. Uh, as a reaction, when you or a creature you can see within 30 feet suffers a critical hit, you can turn that into a normal hit. Any effects triggered by crit are canceled. You can use this feature five times per long rest. Is he within 30 feet? He's within 30 feet. The question comes if is he within line of sight? Because he's right here on the roof in that square is where he was. You did say he almost stumbled off. All I got to do is look up. Question is, are you looking up right now? If I hear, if I hear something happening up there, 
I got nothing else I'm doing. I ain't focused on anything else. And my focus is mostly on Edril because he just threw me the diamond from up there. So I would be looking up, right? Or you're looking at the diamond. Should make uh, a dice roll. Dice roll. Dice roll. Dice roll. Dice roll for what? Perception or is it like a high low? Jones said, give me a look, Jake. <laughs> make it a perception check, Jonesy. Do it, you won't. <laughs> Oh man, I'm laughing because I'm trying not to pee myself in fear. Too late, already done it. Beat you, beat you to that man. <laughs> he, already, he already peed you. Yep. <laughs> I hit him. I hit the the instant transmission <laughs> into your room. <laughs> Give me a perception roll. One d twenty. Straight roll. <clears throat> Um, wait, straight, I still add my modifier to it, right? Correct. Okay, 18. 18. I'll say you can negate the crit. It's your reaction yeah. to this turn. How many times a day can you do that? Five. Five times. All right, make sure you mark it off that you have done it once. Sir, um, you negate, negate the crit, which keeps it from immediately killing him. Agariel has 27 hit points. Okay. That without the crit did over 30 damage. Okay. 16 points of damage on that hit. Fall immediately following that. It's 3d6 damage from, from top to bottom here. I'm sorry. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm not lying. I could be lying. I think it's 30 feet. It's 30 feet. 3d6 damage on top. That puts a Garyl at negative 25 of 27 hit, hit points right now. He is down and very, very hurt. Isn't it a D6 after the first 10 feet, though? I think if you fall 10 feet, you take a D6 damage. Okay. So you fall 30 feet, you take 3D6 damage, right? Or no? Am I thinking about that wrong? I thought I think it's a D six after every ten feet after the like after the first ten. The initial ten, no damage. Fine. Every ten feet after the initial ten. Okay. He has nine hit I points think. left, so he is down regardless, but right, right. did not die. Thanks, uh thanks to that reaction right there. Uh he just looks at him and says, This is my perch and with a hand just knocks him off of the roof. Um Agariel is down. And that is going to bring us to uh Gorm just went RTM, your turn. Kashik, you're not you're on deck. What you doing, RTM? Uh I'll say over the mental link. Uh to the east lane. Stick to the north side of the building. And uh I will run right here i guess okay and as i'm running by i'm going to touch the chalk to the wall and 10 feet up above us create a barrier that will block magic from above you're gonna write it on the wall just touch the wall it doesn't say you have to trace a shape it says you have to touch the chalk to a surface right you have to touch the to a surface. I guess I wasn't thinking 3D when that item was put into the game. I was thinking 2D of having something on the ground to prevent something coming over it like that. Um, all right. If it if it doesn't work that way, I can do something else. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm not trying to screw you out of something. I'm just trying to think of... Uh, can you read off the item for me? Does it take an action to to apply it? Yeah, I can just, I can paste it in Discord or, or uh, Skype. 
It's a it's a beefy one. Yeah, it is. Um, so an action to use. So that's my shaking. action. <laughs> okay. All right. Oof. Um, so you're using an action. You still need the movement to do that. You're right here on the inside using 25 yeah, yeah. feet of movement. You use your action. Uh, so you can't dash with it. Right. No, that, that's my movement is right there. Okay. So then you're starting to do this. Like you're just bringing it out and next turn going to be able to trace along the wall. It doesn't say I need to trace along the wall. It says I just have to touch it to a surface. I'm pretty sure we clarified this. Oh, okay. When we spoke about it on the first time is that you needed the movement to do that. Oh. Well, then... <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. One second, then. Just press it against the wall and then throw no, it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, <laughs> even if we did discuss that, I'm going to walk that back because it does say the line extends from your location in the direction and shape of your choice and that you can shape it in any way that you want to. So I, I remember talking about that, but just reading that part of the magical item because I didn't create this one. You put it up and it extends across the wall right there, uh, right above you guys. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and make that permanent uh is that where you're putting it um I, i'm not exactly sure how zigzaggy i can get with this could i technically have it twist <laughs> could i have it go this way and then move down the wall and go back across the street i mean no it's fine like that i'm just going to use that that 25 feet and just keep it right there because if it can still get broken by physical stuff. Okay. All right. You're going to do that. Uh, and you should be able to make that a solid thing if you right click on the where you drug it to. If okay. not, if not, I can do it. I think it's I think it's good now. Okay. Oh, no. I just undid it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll I can do it real the... quick. Okay. So, right there. Oh, well, I, now I'm a dummy. Give me a second. Okay. Oh. That above you on the wall right there. Uh running down this hall, you see or this alleyway, you see Gorm coming around the corner, uh uh right behind you, Crowley, you hearing him as well. Uh anything um, else for your turn there, Artyom? Bonus action, I'm giving the other stick to uh to Barrick and telling him to touch a surface if someone looks like they're gonna die from a spell. Okay. To so just encircle them in a magic negating barrier okay all right Kashik, that brings us to you um immediately bonus action uh spare the dying on a gariel um through the mental link crowley get him out of here and then um, take off to find Azure and where he took Jeremiah. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if I don't can, know where that you is. You can probably see him in this okay. building right here. You can okay. see him through the open doors. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm headed into that building with them. Okay. Yeah. Don't go over there. <laughs> Just fucking. Oh, can't That's help. my words. I need help. I can't get in. Okay, there we go. Okay. I, I know what you said. I'm on a mission. You, you got ranged healing. You don't have to do. Well, you I don't need, have to open yourself to get fucked real bad. There's a wall across from us. I'm okay. Yedril is above us. He can hit uh, you right there. Well. You are safe where you were. You are not safe in that street. Uh, well. 
Yeah. What okay. you doing, Kashik? Can I see Jeremiah through the doorway? Uh, let's see. Place yourself where you were. Yeah, can yeah, you I just mean, uh, it's measure a double that door for that's me? wide open, and Azur didn't drag him in too deeply. E can easily. you measure it for me real quick? See how far it is from me? I sure can. Give me a second. I'm Jeremiah sorry, still so nervous. happy, even though he's unconscious. 25 feet. He's just a cheerful guy. He's a cheerful little boy. Cheerful little dude. You said 25 feet? 25 feet. Okay. Um. I'll do a... Not a coffee. Just a normal cure wounds on Jeremiah. Oh, wait, no, it's a touch. Fuck, I'm stupid. Hold on. Do you have a uh, healing I... word prepped? Oh, I have mass healing word prepped. That works. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think I think was it there's three people in the party currently on on single digits. I don't think but anybody's it, complaining. But it's a bonus action. You could you could you could just swap your action economy and say you used action to uh spare the dying because okay. it's Okay, so yeah, I'll I'll do the mass healing where it'll just get him up is what I'm trying to do essentially just like stabilize him get him up and get him able to move without putting too much of a dead weight burden on Azure sure uh so that's bonus action spare the dying is mass healing word in action it's a bonus action I think she's saying she's flipping it also yeah. how many if how many people does mass he healing word uh target you could just <clears throat> up a garial with that as well if it's just a oh, bunch of fucking people that's true um, up to six creatures of my choice. So six creatures of your so choice you within like 30 feet of you, right? 60 feet. 60, 60 feet of you. Wow, so that's you really hit, far. Let's go. You can Matthew hit Jeremiah. Really you can hit uh, Azur. We need more bodies. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll do Jeremiah, Azur, myself, uh, Agariel. Um, that's four. Jeremiah, Azur, myself, Agariel. Uh, if Crowley's close enough, I'll hit Crowley. And Gorham, if he's close enough? Uh, maybe. Is he just outside? Artyom, is he closer? Artyom. I'm not, I'm not looking at the map right now, sorry. Both of RTM them are within range. Very... Artyom's 10 feet away from you. Gorham's 40 feet away from you. Uh, I'll hit Artyom. Okay, hey. roll it. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, for Jeremiah and Agariel, it's going to be full. Um, it's not that That's much. Right. It's only nine for the two of them. Okay. Um, so it's 1d4 done. plus 5. Six. And then... It's a third of the Gariel's HP. For the rest of us, it's 6. Sure, 6 for everybody else. That my current hit points and then some. Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. My my oh, page no. up, updated and put me back at 64 HP, but no, and I, I should have a It's left. fate. Right. They're still prone. I, I res them because I'm an idiot, but... Uh... So I'll I'll go back on well I I guess I can go back on over the mental link telling Crowley to get him out of there because like he's up mm -hmm. now, um, but I would like to start running off towards the alley, um, okay. grabbing a, a Gariel's arm and pulling him with me. Okay, that's gonna have your movement speed by doing that. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you want to move fifteen feet in this direction. Um. Yeah, so you still have and you so you pull him 15 feet this way. All right. That'll be it for me. And then your turn there. It does bring us to Gariel's turn, but apparently So we tell this man to run. <laughs> The alley's where we're trying to go, right? I'm not dumb. That's away cool. right now is, okay. is the plan. Is the alley Scattered. away? Yeah. <laughs> Did I go the right direction? That's what I'm wondering. So, that's where everybody else went, so that's where I went. I should have read this chalk and knew this chalk like the back of my hand, but I fucking don't. Okay, that's why mine went down earlier when I dropped all my HP and it refreshed. To be fair, uh, I mean, Barrick is in my square at the moment, so I like that. That would only be useful if someone like broke it and then came down to kill like me, Kashik, or a Gariel for him to like 
be within range to cast it again, I suppose. Right. Here's my thing, right? One, Eudril didn't see you do that. You're two, you're out of his line of sight when you did that. Hmm? Two, you have total cover from any magical effects or spells. Hmm? Eudril doesn't know it happened, but you have total cover from that. So I am wrestling with the thought of, does it give some sort of visual indicator that there is a block in between you and them to give you that total cover? I'm talking out of my mic because I'm trying to read. And my eyes are bad. Uh... I feel like <laughs> I'm going to give him an Arcana check and it's going to be really high, but his bonus is very good. He senses the magic. You see a spell Whoa. starting to be cast above you. I'm so sorry, guys. This is just a lot. You see a spell starting to be cast above you. Okay. The spell goes off. <sighs> Splashes across the null chalk line that is covering you in a 20 foot canopy from building to building right now. You see a bit of a confused look in Yidril's face quickly corrects it he's looking down the lot of you looking down at the lot of you um what color was it what color was what the the energy that clashed across the chalk from barrier. him or like from the barrier uh, well from him more than anything like black oh <laughs> yeah that's not a good color we need to go in character there's not a good color we need to go <laughs> I mean, it, it, it like bad magic. <laughs> black necrotic energy splashed across it uh, when it happened, and when it, the null chalk line just sort of like uh, sparks fly off in this like iridescent teal blue energy. Um, that is going to oh, bring boy. us to his turn. Uh, I'm sorry, that's going to bring us to Aguirre's turn. Uh, Use yeah. 15 feet of his movement to get up. What the fuck happened? Okay, nobody answers me. Word. To say, he just Fire just fell. <laughs> Fuck you, James. <laughs> he fell. He fell. <laughs> He's hitting him with the get the fuck out of there. <laughs> it's going to go 30 feet this way. Um, it's going to use... The Just don't think. My Roomba's talking in the background. I'm sorry. I, I heard a person in my apartment and that scared me. Um, Aguirre, he's, uh -oh. uh, and he's going to use a bonus action to fucking hide because yeah. that hurt. Run. And it's not doing an awesome job at it, unfortunately. Um, okay. That is the end of Aguirre's turn. That brings us to Eidre's turn. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that sums up my feelings about right now. I'm like, bro, it's four more rounds, so I get I can even get <laughs> Oh, it's bad. <laughs> He's gonna cast the spell. Counter spell. Oh shit. Use your reaction counter spell. Roll a d20. Oh. 
I don't like the spells you cast on your turn. No. <laughs> I don't like the spells you cast on your turn. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. I Get him out of here. I agree. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. That shit hurted. Let's check this out real quick. Um, speaking of which, I am out of... Uh... <laughs> third level spell so this is going to be at a uh, fourth level not that it probably matters whatever he's doing uh it does matter you're you if you're using oh. a fourth level spell it succeeds oh well. mark your fourth <laughs> level spell off awesome get out of here as you see a point of darkness begin at gorham's feet and start opening up gorham you just hear a moment of ah, as it gets cut off short by crowley Silencio the Opera. <laughs> All right. Um, that's his movement and his action. Do I hear it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, the natty one comes in. I need to check. Actually, uh, that's important because uh, Mazareth is no longer locked up and can now move. Um, Let's go. Dragon time. Should he uh, want to, but there is a an obstacle um ending is um, i almost said ending azure's turn that brings us to azure's turn and then jeremiah's on deck azure what you doing oh, jeremiah go last my boy yeah all right really low for him um so for my action yeah huh <sighs> okay yeah uh, da, 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 do, do, do. go ahead and mark that up. We are gonna do a big old third level cure wounds. Where's man? On who? On Jeremiah. As we're getting ready to run. Yeah, use the third gonna... level cure wounds on Jeremiah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because he just got up very little. He just needs enough hit points to survive to get him, get away, in my opinion. A third level cure Williams ain't going to stop him from anything Yidril throws at him. You're nope, wasting no. a spell and an action. I'm just going to tell you yep. that right, homie. Okay. Like, he's going to big, big homie. Gonna yeah. one-shot him no matter what. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. He's not going to have that many more hit points than a Garial. Yeah. Jeremiah's he chunkier than a Garial. Does not matter when he fails that save, though. Yeah. Right, but against you, the against the hey, against the shit that Yidril's chucking around, it, he's it already won't. at nine hit points. You heal him up. If you rolled max, you got twenty four, and if you had a twenty wisdom, it would give you what twenty nine. Twenty nine total, and that's if you had you a rolled three eights and so, b had a twenty whiz. If he hits with another spell that hit as hard as the last one and managed to net twenty of the save, yeah, it might it might save him, but otherwise, not. Nah, it's gonna go down. And on average, you're healing him for yeah, okay, sixteen that's, that's HP. Fair. What you doing? Now? <laughs> uh, I mean, should I even heal him? Uh, that's Be best thing stuff. you can do for him is try to get him out, well. probably. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I'm not going to do any spells. Uh, let's go back to the map. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to try to just help him move towards the alley. Be like, all right, we need to go, Jeremiah. And... Oh, okay. We need to go east. He goes in front of us. Yeah, that'll be fun. And as I'm trying to help him move with me, mm -hmm. I'm going to order Mazarth. Sorry, buddy. Move that way. Tell Mazarth to move past him. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said, Mazarth, take that action. Take the AOP, take please. Take yeah. AOP, please. <laughs> good, that was, that, good, good, good call. I mean, you George needs to be like, whatever. He Don't could. That blue he guy. could be. He probably will be. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Uh, Mazarus can be resummoned. 
Yeah. The rest of us can't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, by all means. <laughs> Archie went down. That's fine. I'll resummon him on the next long run. Shit. Hell yeah, man. Someone summon me. So he put Archie. him in a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, come back. <laughs> DM cast you your is super effective. <laughs> yeah. Man. Sin Mazarth bounding by Yidril. Yidril takes his scythe, flips it around behind him, foregoing an attack of opportunity and looks at you. Damn. Good try. Good try, good try. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a risky run with intelligent enemies. <sighs> How far can I get with Jeremiah? That's the only good. <laughs> I don't know how to keep Jeremiah in tow with me, though, so... <sighs> Which square are you in right now? This one or this one? This one. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 20... No, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. Uh... I'm that's as far as I can get with Jeremiah in tow. Are you, are you dragging Jeremiah? I mean, uh, I would like to start to get him moving. So is that a yeah, you're dragging him or what? You yeah, doing? drag him along with me until he can make his move. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a 40 foot movement speed? He's a 35 mm -hmm. foot movement 30. speed. Oh, okay. So can you drag him the rest of the way? Can you double move with him? Or is it an action to like grab onto him? No, the object interaction. Well, he's a living. Well, he's not a body right now, not like a limp body. Um, yeah, I'm going to say you use, you use your action the first time. We're going to stay consistent here using your action. That's as far as you can get to grab him while he's prone. Okay. That's what you're doing. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right oh, after your turn, we are up to uh, Jeremiah's turn. Legendary actions have reset for this round. He sees you're in a weak spot. <laughs> he said, I'm going to do it to you twice, Wyatt. <laughs> Hit him with the one time. <laughs> Hit him with the two time. Oh, no. Hi, loser. He said, you or Jeremiah. Hi. You were Jeremiah. You don't know what he's going to do. But I rolled a 55. So you have the choice here. Put it in your hands. I just turn around and sucker punch him in the back of the head. Or I can decide. Up to you. If you don't, if you don't feel comfortable with the side. <sighs> you can always roll for yourself, White, if you don't want to choose. Yeah, I mean. Percent I'll dice. Hell of a drug. <laughs> High for Jeremiah, low for Azir, taking the damage. I'll get down, Mr. President, both of them. Take the damage <laughs> instead. The bodyguard, uh, you didn't right. know about well. it. 
rolled for it, and the dice decided Azure is taking that damage. Oh. So, kill me twice, DM. Hit him with the one time. Hit him with the two time. We don't have to run past Yidril. There's other alleyways. <laughs> yeah, but it's Irish. It's Yidril's turn right now. Or not Yidril's turn. It's his legendary actions right now. Wait, do I have? Uh, yeah. Do I have a reaction? I mean, Can I tackle Yidril to the ground? You just used your reaction, didn't you? Shut up. I have another one. For that, for that other, uh, other reaction. Yeah. She went back in the third edition. She took combat reflexes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, I would love that feat in fifth edition. <laughs> right? Where did Jonesy go? I'm sorry. I'm reading stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I'm hiding from y'all. <laughs> he said, "Oh no, yeah, I'm you're fucking better. I know where you live, and I'm coming for you after this." Is he? Is he casting a spell? Yes. He is within five feet of me, right? Yes. So would that trigger Barrack using the chalk to stop him from Yidril from casting a spell on someone? You know, said if someone's gonna die, right? If so, he's about to finish someone off with a spell. And Azura's taking the damage right now. So he has said, right? Yeah, I guess about yeah. to die was a, a loose phrase. That's synonymous with casting a spell on someone, I would guess. Yeah, but I don't know he's gonna die. So you know, it's all spells, really. What does Barrack think? <laughs> Intelligence roll for the bird. I'm gonna say this. You don't know. You don't know. Neither does Barrick what he is about to cast. Could be bad, really bad. Could not be so bad, right? Sure. I I know what he's gonna cast right now. My question is: Does Barrick use the second use of chalk to go around Azur right now? No, he wouldn't do it to go around Azur. It would go around Yidril because Yidril's then (laughs) fight. Okay, so he's going to try to encircle Yidril. Yeah. As so he casts a spell. Can. That's your second use of chalk. I set it in motion and it well, goes I'm, I'm letting you decide right, right now what Barrick what Barrick thinks and does. I, I gave him a command and that's something that's happening right next to him. It's probably not maybe worth the chalk, but that's what I told him to do and I feel like he would do it. Okay. You want to commit to that then? Barrick flies around. Five feet of you uses the chalk to encircle Yidril. His spell hits the circle. Thistles out. Um, okay. And Yidril is currently encircled. Uh, all right. That is a legendary reaction. We just got done with Azur's turn. We're on to Jeremiah's turn. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh Now now that it's over, was was James right? Was he actually casting haste on our boys to get him out of here? You have no clue. <laughs> Darn. You have no clue. Possibly. What color was the magic? <laughs> White bull. It was like glowing, you know, angelic yellow. Yeah. <laughs> would uh, would, would, would Milo casting have heal? Known? It was a cure. Would Milo spell. have known? Uh, <laughs> I don't think Milo has this spell. So. <laughs> oh, it's not on either one of his spell lists. I don't think so. You don't know all the wizard spells, do you? It is not. You can identify. Oh. Oh. Just because Milo can't do it doesn't mean he doesn't know about it. Jeremiah Jared. turns to you, sort of woozy. Uh, Mr. Azur, perhaps we can run this way. And runs over here past the wall and past Surish. Let's yeah. Feet right there. Run. Oh, no. Another, I think he has another five feet to get right there. Um, Sir Hish is going to take his attack of opportunity now. Um, what? <laughs> uh, he's a Zambo. No, he was a traitor the whole time. It was all a ruse. Deathless strike. Does he do it at disadvantage since he doesn't have a fucking head? 
<laughs> he's technically yeah, blinded. He had to kill him so he could turn him into an undead. Bro, he tur- he got turned when yeah. he got beheaded. He got turned into a fucking uh, what are the the headless horsemen? Oh god, what are those monsters called? Dulahan. Yeah, he's a Dulahan now, but like a Minotaur Dulahan. So that sounds way fucking he's scarier. He's a headless horseman. A, a headless. Because he's a Minotaur. Bullman. Oh well, yeah, close enough. Yeah, that would be pretty funny if you there was a centaur that was a headless horseman. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not a horseman, I'm a centaur. <laughs> he doesn't need a horse. Hmm. Where is 740? Oh, that was Jeremiah's turn. That brings us back. That takes us to round three, right? Oof. Did all uh, the bulk you... dudes go? Yeah, they started scrapping. Correct. And our guys are getting their asses kicked. <laughs> At this moment, yes. Lo- loyal Loyalist is not the winning side right now. Um... Don't worry, guys. I got 30 more, guys, 30 more dudes that are going to be here in, like, Two minutes. <laughs> I got one more AOE absorption. Jones, here. are we allowed to use our channel point redemptions? No. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> what if I just use a toot? <laughs> Fucking usual farts in the barrier. <laughs> it can't escape. It gives him disadvantage. <laughs> he no. he probably farts disintegration spells like. <laughs> I would not. I would not test that. All right, I'll save all these points for blood and silver then. There you go. Yeah. Get ready, Cody. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it caused okay. Cody problems. This is how we're gonna go back to the top of the initiative to crawl. Needle hovering in the air, seeing Jeremiah run the rest of you fleeing as well. Soldiers scrapping. Turns, sort of slight smile on his face, knowing this is going in his favor. Severely so. Green energy starts coalescing in his hands. Looking at the group of you. And his eyes lock onto Gorham. Roll a dexterity saving throw for me, Gorham. Did he move? I don't he, wanna. He is right behind you at this point. So he's still he's still in that the chalk Oh, he is encircled. Hmm. That's it. Now he would know to move at this point. This chalk has fooled him twice. Um <laughs> I need to read about how the uh, barracks giving him a little as far as the barrier goes. Um, no, they can if they walk through it. It's like a foot thick. If they walk through it, it just it dissipates entirely. As far from what I understand, it doesn't physically hold you in. It, yeah, it, unless it you are some a, people. Yeah, it's like Fey fiend celestials and undead. Okay, all right. Yeah, so maybe if he's like a lich or something like that, it might do like 2d8 damage to like we got him in the, it, it, we got him it, on the ropes I think now. if he fails it he, I think if he fail if they fail it they can't pass through like they get pushed back Aww. well I can't open D beyond that I look at the spells so I gotta scroll up where I posted it yeah you scroll all the way back up to the the, the chalk it's, god that is so much text uh, once it's six times. Okay. DC this is how 16 we're do this. charisma right. saving throw. <laughs> yeah, it's celestial, celestial elemental, fey fiend, or undead creature attempts to cross the line on a turn. There, and on a failed save, their movement speed becomes zero. Right. Hedril steps out of it. Goes a step out of it. As he does, the scythe that is in his hands hits the barrier and just sort of clinks to the ground. 
looks around at you a bit of like briefest moment just sort of on his hand as he sort of he has now broken the circle leans down picks it up and pulls it through uh roll uh what is it 3d8 i think it's 2d8 2d8 roll 2d8 damage for me the staff explodes it kills everybody in a 27 and six so okay all right 13 points of damage 13 points everyone of damage. In a quarter mile, takes wait, 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 wait. 10 points of damage. That's Hold on. What's up, Renny? Would it be for instead of falling out of his hand? It says that on a failed save, the creature's movement speed becomes zero until the start of its next turn. It's forced it. backward up to 10 feet. So would it force the thing the, up backwards? The scythe. The scythe. Yeah. Would, would it, it force it 10 pop feet away, away from, from it? I'm going to say just as of like <laughs> moment of like he's stepping through with his staff which means i'm giving i'm giving something here with him stepping through with his scythe right as it falls to the ground within the, within the circle and after Get he breaks more. it the circle is dissipated and no longer magical okay the scythe is 10 feet the away undead of some <laughs> of some kind that is what we are getting out of that as we know the scythe is classified as undead Lime green energy coalescing in his hands. Sickly green points at you, Gorum. Just like your brother. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. I can see through walls, right? You got a D10 still, right? I push yeah, RT in the front D10. of the spell. I'm gonna you fucking need fuck. it, bro. <laughs> oh, that's, Come on, that's... Gorum. I shoulder he, check our team easy, directly in the easy, line of fire. Easy save. Okay, so I rolled a 15 plus 4, so it's 19. So you need a 2 or higher, right? We determined 21 passes. I'm rolling my D10. Make sure it's a. Yeah. Ah! That is a, a 9. 27? I don't math. 28. It was a 19, right? 19 oh, plus yeah, 9? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28. Yeah, 28. Good luck for assists. That's where we're gonna, uh, that's where we're gonna go to break. All right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon to all this nonsense. Uh, much love. Use those channel points to help us out. What are you doing? <laughs> And hello, everyone. Welcome Hi. back. We're all back. How are you? Uh, if you are not here to begin with, we are currently in uh, a situation as our heroes were traveling through a tour, uh, heading towards to where a lot of the citizenry is kept up. Uh, they were cut off in their uh, in their path. Gidral uh, and a posse of old knights, as well as his commander. Uh, Abraxia, the death giant, uh, has rounded a corner in front of them. Several soldiers have started fighting, one of them seeming to have a uh, some predetermined knowledge, uh, or one squadron rather, having some predetermined knowledge. One of them turning to turning to Yidril's side just out of pure fear. Other two rallying together with our heroes here. Um, so we find ourselves in the middle of combat the Bone Knights, as well as Boris, are now Walla forced off. And yeah, we're back at the top of the initiative. So, Crowley, what would you like to do? I guess I'd like to do this spell called Skedaddle. And it's a double move, actually. And I'm going to take it as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's let's double check our map. Yep. First of all, we're gonna get right there, which is forty-five. So, as you move, Eagle is gonna cast a spell, and I would like you to make a Wisdom saving throw. I'm gonna give him the this and counter spell. His reaction and counter spell. Okay. Yep. Uh, fourth Dutch level. Master, I just have a quick clarification. Yes. Is that him using his Warcaster to use his reaction to cast a spell? Okay. 
That was about six. I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's how that works. Nope, that is not work. <laughs> okay, just that making is, sure. You know, I was, I was confused because I thought it was looking the other way too, but now I see he's looking that. Okay, way. just, just want to be sure because that, that pricked my ears at when it happened to Mazars, and I just wanted to clarify. Nope. Uh, I thought he was super focused on his ear and all, but you know, it's cool. Uh, fourth level. No, uh, he just okay. threw a disintegrate oh. at Gorum, and now you have turned away from him and started to run. Uh, you, he goes to cast another spell. Use your reaction uh, to counter spell that at fourth level. It automatically succeeds. I blow him a kiss and keep running. <laughs> okay, go ahead and place yourself where you're going. All right, that's 45. Uh, I would really like to move the full 60 TM off the board, but uh, you know what? 45, 50, 55. So I will stay. Made you fly in case you do want to go off the board. I will be right there in case any of my allies come through and they need a, another diversion or a spell or some sort. Gotcha. I will. I will wait here one more turn. <laughs> All right. It brings oh, us one second. Oh. Before you go to the next person, I mean. Okay. What's going on? I want to decide if I want to do something real quick. Okay. Okay. I was making sure of the warding of how uh, the target worked for Warcaster. I'm good. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> end my turn. Ending your turn there brings us to Broxia. Um. Saw you run off this way, Gorum. Sees you in that alleyway there. Oh, did I DC for a second? I think I did. Um, no, but I'm back. We heard you. Oh, okay. Uh, that's 30 feet right there. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, she's going to jump at you. Yo, with that knee? Crushing down on these stairs. Use your action to do so, and these stairs are fucking gone at the bottom. She just crushes the shit out of those. Okay. Um, and is now standing right behind you, Gorham. As she leaps down from the building. <laughs> Just tearing up this entire little small alleyway. Uh, that's going to end her turn. It's going to bring us to Major Boris, who is just sort of in the dumb zone right now. Um, and he's been in the dumb zone. He's in the zone. He's a big old dummy. He sort of calls out to to Yidril. Commander Yidril! Direction, sir. Yidril just, just sort of turns him. Go to the monastery. I will need to prepare soon anyways. Boris nods his head. Karnathi salute. Double moves this way. Ah... Uh, Milo, that brings us to your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, I scream like one of the possums in those gifts. Um, All right, that's one of your words for this turn. Long word. Long word. Bunch of uh, H's. Get. <laughs> oh, God. It's funny because it's stressful. Perfect. Um, so, I am going to move my feet up. Okay. These guys will attempt to hit you. 
don't know if they will succeed in doing so. It's one, two, three, four, five. No. Bonus is not high. What's your AC right now? Uh, 20 right now. 20 right now. Okay. 17 or higher. One miss. Uh, two miss. Three miss. Uh, one hit. And another miss. So one hit. For six points of non-magical slashing. So I will take three points of damage. Um... And 15, 20. 30, 35. Okay. Um, your first diagonal on five feet is free, right? I don't think we've ever played it like that. I think just diagonals are are, are free to go most of the time. One day. Be all of my moves. Oh yeah, we are. What you doing? to figure us out. Perfect. It's right there at the edge. Milo is going to reach out towards Kashik and kind of feeling around for that uh, power that he's not very familiar with uh time will uh i'm getting the head shake from kent what you doing milo um the kind of stone steps that he had used previously with the insect shaman will appear before Kashik, and she'll just hear, Kashik, come. Do you choose to fail the saving throw, Kashik? Before you say anything. He's casting Vortex Warp, so. Okay. Vortex Warp will fail. As it scatters across the chalk line, Nartium is drawn above i thought that was broken when Idril moved through it Idril, two of them. there are two of them Idril stepped through one breaking them there is one that is still drawn on the wall right here gotcha Covering I... everyone here like a canopy is why Idril has flown down below them i was under the impression that when Idril moved down below it that broke it uh would i have known that or been able to see it or sense it in any way i I gave you drill a DC 25 Arcana check to know on his first one. You can roll an Arcana check as you run the corner because you did not see it happen. Roger. Um, and I fucked up and updated my HP, which means I need to actually open the PDF to my character sheet. I'm sorry. Bear with me one second. So I think you have a plus 13, but I think it's a plus. You have a... Either 12 or 13. Plus 4 intelligence oh. with expertise. I think it's fourth. 12 or 13, yeah? It's 12. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're making diamonds over here, folks. It was a 17 on the dice, so that'll be a 29. Okay. I'll say you see the chalk line as you get ready to cast the spell just in time uh, to hold your spell. Okay. Uh... Hmm. 
I don't like this at all. Um, if you fly down, you can just cast it under. I'd have no more movement. I've already moved. Oh, okay. He flew up above would... them, so he wouldn't take any more AOPs. From Blue Squad, yeah. That would be super, super metagamey since I didn't find out about it until I got here. Until you're on to so. the corner. Um. Well, sheep. What you doing, Milo? Um. He will go ahead and start the evacuation process. Anyway. <laughs> um. So the same thing will happen. But kind of cursing to himself, will turn and gesture at um, who all do I fly aside to right now? That is not just, under just that Azur. canopy, just Azur. Just Azur. Correct. Azur, you're getting evacuated. <laughs> um. So yeah, same thing. Do you choose to fail the saving throw? Just hear the same thing that Kashik would have heard if it. Yep. Yeah. Just. You're not hearing Kashik come, you're hearing yeah. Azir. <laughs> Azir, come. Sure. <laughs> Why do you want me to come? We'll be moved. Let's go. Right there. So you're choosing to move Azur over to this corner over here. Yep. Okay. Gets him out of line of sight of Idril, which is what I care about most right now, so. Do you have to see the location that you're sending him to? Yep, that's, uh, that's why I picked that spot, is I drew the line for it from my character's base. I do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think even still that you can get him... You can get him pretty close to the out of out of line of sight, but it's still gonna be. No, he he doesn't have to see it. It's not line of sight for him. Yeah, it's line of sight for you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, yeah. I, know. Our... I get you. Which, from your base right here, I think you can see right here these two these two squares. So not quite around the wall itself. From your current location. The, the line I've been operating with. Yeah, that that's from like the bottom right hand of your of your model. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make a call here. You can send them to, to, to these squares right here, but you can't quite get a line of sight around that around that corner. It's not a huge deal, but it's it, you can't really see around that corner. From yeah, I'm just trying at. to figure out somewhere he'll be out of line of sight is where I'm shooting for. Right. Uh, I guess if that's the best I can do, then that's the best I can do. I'll get him right there at the corner. Um, okay. Yeah, right there instead. Resort, since it's not your turn, I'm going to just drag you around. Mark the spot right there. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you just walk the path while everything else stands still, and when you get there, it all picks back up. Um, yeah, go right, ahead. Go. What else you got? Just turn to face Idril and... Oh, wait, no, not moving. Turn, turn, there we go. Uh, well, zap it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, fuck you guys. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you in particular. Oh, that is a natural 20 again. I shit you not. Yeah, nice. Fuck him up, little drone. Let's go. <laughs> I, I can't roll crits to save my life because this drone is out for blood, all right? Drone said. <laughs> we pull up. Two on the first Kills one. Pull up. Two on the second one, so eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. <laughs> Cast disintegrate against your drum. <laughs> Good. Awesome. That that would Good. be a really use of fucking Worth it. economy. Fucking drone just whacked Yedro on the back of the head. Basically, just went bunk. He went. 
the fuck? Like, <laughs> think hell. All right. I do hell. Is that it for your turn there? That's my move, my action, my bonus. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I got. <laughs> um, brings us to Death Knight Squad number one. Um, I use the rest of my words to continue possum screaming. Oh. <laughs> I'm not thorn with him. You're gonna thorn whip him? Yeah! Roll an attack roll. Fuck him up! Uh, 22. 22 hits. Down here! Fuck him. Woo! Seven points of... Seven points of damage. Gears. Then you pull him back down to you, right? Oh, yep. I'm writing down four. Okay. Okay. All right. It's just 10 feet, however high you went. Uh, he went up 15, 20. Perfect. So he'll come down to 10 feet. Um, all right. Which is going to bring us to death nice one. Sure. Our boys in blue. What's the initiative count right now? What do you mean? What number on the initiative are we on? This is round three. One, two, three, no, four. No, no, no. Like, what five. is the boys in blue roll for initiative? For initiative, they rolled a... These guys rolled a 19. Okay. That's as far as they're going to get. Um, let's see. Okay. And these two go back with Boris. Which brings us to the soldiers. Red is I don't like that. First. Um, oh. Red, right, let's step up right here. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and step up on top of this falling guy. This guy will also step up right here. This guy will stand up on top of this falling guy. Uh, Miss, miss, hit miss, one, two, uh, natural 20 and natural 19 on that roll, um, so hit, hit on that guy, miss, miss on the last one, so, eights plus three, seven, Dismiss this guy ain't a crit. Uh, one, two. So, the guy's very lucky, actually. Um, five. Uh, it doesn't matter, he was already missing HP. And then... Uh, that would have killed him, so the 19 goes on him. Five. And then... Eight. And then miss miss on the last one. Uh, soldier group three, which is pink here, is in a shitty fucking situation. Um, this guy's just gonna get back to back right here, except not of anybody's range, but just try to defend themselves. These three are gonna look at this guy and put six attacks on him. Hit and one hit. Uh, uh, hit miss, so another hit, and then a natural 20 right back onto him. Uh, so 
three hits, one of them being a crit. Four, six is ten. Okay, he's already hit. And then one crit. Seven. Uh, puts him down. And then soldier from blue. Focus on green. I'm getting my natural twenties out apparently. Good. Good. Keep him over there. That is. Wow, that's not that stuck. Miss. Okay, um, one of these guys is getting obliterated. This guy got 10, 16, he's been hit for five, he's dead. This guy gets crit and one regular hit, five, 10, 13, and then one for max dies. Uh, and then this guy missed. This guy is going to roll on pink. Okay, yeah, I apparently rolled the good out of the dice. Miss, miss. Uh, another natural 20, though. Miss. And a hit. So one crit, one regular hit, two. Put this guy in front. And then the natural 20, four, six. Uh, Okay. Uh, and then green. Last one. Last lone standing green soldier. All of his squad is dead. He sees it. I'm going to give him wisdom saving throw. If there was a Carnathy Patriot, it is this guy. Hell yeah. He stands over his friend's body and begins to try to fight. Um, Stand alone! It's one. <laughs> Oof. It's this guy for five. All right. Uh, that's all of their turns. That brings us to the second uh, group of Death Knights who go over here. These guys follow Boris. Uh, these guys. Oh, wait. Where'd the other blue guys go? Oh, they followed Boris, too. And then I said that was so creepy. So they are still out of sight right now. Um, okay. That's a lot of NPCs. Gorum, uh, it's your turn. But after Hedra does something, um, he doesn't like what's going on right here on top of him. Stone. Since you wanted them close, it'll get close to you. Uh, I was within five feet of him. Would he? No, have... you were not. You were nope. ten feet away from him. He snatched. He snatched him. You're twenty feet up. He was. He was flying up to you when he was AOP back down towards RTM with a thorn. Gotcha. Left. I thought he was at my bottom left diagonal. Okay, never mind. Up ten feet out. So, flies down to you. I. Uh, He's going to divide it up a little bit. Uh, two swings with a scythe and a cantrip going up towards Milo. Shit. Dodge! Just <laughs> 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 fucking bend backwards. <laughs> uh, that is a 20 and a 13 to hit. I assume um, the 13 misses. Yeah, the 13 misses, and I think my AC is now 20, so... Bye bye <laughs> <laughs> he only does three damage. You're fine. I highly doubt um, that. Um, right. um, there you go. Tree fitty. You take 21 points of necrotic damage. I'm down. Oh. 
<laughs> Gorum, heal me! <laughs> Zedra flies down and uses the scythe and it cuts through you, Artyom. You see Artyom fall beneath you, Milo. As he hits the ground and his stat staff rolls from his hands, you see his eyes stare at the sky and he is not breathing anymore. Staff kills a zero. Huh, huh, uh, huh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> You mean he's just breathing real shallow. <laughs> that was 21 points of necrotic damage, our team? Yeah. And Hedral heals. He has fucking lifesteal! What a Hedral, bitch! Hedral <laughs> heals Artyom. He misspoke. Hedral heals Artyom. Did you grab that diamond? Because you're going to need it. <laughs> Swings the scythe down. Knows our team is down. Looks up at Milo. For a natural one on the first swing and an 18 on the second one. Does an 18 hit your armor class right now? Nope. Wait. My, my base armor class is 20. He's okay. using a legendary action to get a full turn? That's a good point, actually. Give me a second. Let me look at his legendary action. I'm, I'm full of shit, guys. He doesn't fly up to my left. Yeah. That's one swing. Right. On, one swing on the RTM for his legendary action. You thank you, thank you for correcting me. I appreciate you. There's a lot of shit going on in my brain. <laughs> um. So wait, did he did he make one attack against me? Made one attack against you. So was, was that the 20 or the, or the 13? I rolled them both at the same time. I'm gonna make a reroll. It was the 13. I'm gonna roll another attack. Okay. 14 plus his attack bonus will hit you. Oh, okay. I was like, oh shit, 14. Oh. <laughs> right. No worries. Okay. Um, this is legendary action, Gorum. Eagle strikes down RTM. What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> I got a, I, I got a big bitch of a problem. <laughs> that You're I need to deal wrong. with. Um, so I'm going to use my action to uh, disengage because I don't want to get AOP from this lady. Okay. And I'm going to say, look, all right, I'm flattered. Oh, wait, not, no, not that way. I'm flattered, but I'm married to my work. And I got to go. 20, 25, and then I'm going to say over the mental league. I don't know how many, how much I could say, but gather one. We're getting our asses kicked out here. Boris is heading off to the temple. All right. Anything else for your turn there, Gorham? Uh, I just want to go home. Okay. Good. Uh, our team is no longer in initiative. Kashik, what would you like to do? Um, one second. Sorry, I'm looking to find a spell. I forgot that uh, RTM would be skipped for this. So 
I'm trying to see. What's the one I can cast on them to um, extend the period of time that I can use to revivify them? I can't remember the name of the that spell. One more time for me. There's a spell. That... Gentle repose. Gentle repose. Okay, I don't right. think I have gentle repose. I, I think don't. you always have it prepared as a uh, great domain think, player. I think it's a. I think it's a domain spell. I, I do. I do. I do have it. Perfect. 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 Okay. Perfect. 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 Where's our Tim in comparison to me? Where am I? I can't see anything. Everything's red. Okay. Everything's red. Our Tim. And where's Crowley? Crowley is around the corner out of sight. Fuck, okay. Let's go. Ah, okay. Well, um, uh, gentle repose on Artyom. That's gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As my action, I'm gonna dip, dip, dip right over to him and gentle repose him. Uh, dip, dip, dip. It's like ten feet away. Okay, and then, oh Lord, oh God, for my fuck. Uh, oh no I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm so sorry I wasn't ready you got a diamond today. in your hand put it to use <laughs> right now now's not the time for this I'm standing right in front of me that's true uh, I was like no go back to sleep he said the first one was on him. Yeah, he did. Uh huh. You gotta you let have... me do it then, right? <laughs> you have five levels of exhaustion and one hit point. Good luck, uh... Earth. Earth elementals are immune to exhaustion. That's true. Uh... Oh, I don't know what to do. What you doing, caution? I don't know. Hold on. Sorry. I've been holding on for a minute. Keep on? holding. Keep holding. We gotta, we gotta uh, get it done. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna, um... Uh, I'll give you uh, the length of this description as you listen to decide what you're doing. Okay. Edril swipes his scythe. Our team deciding to lash out towards Edril as he exits his threatened range. Thorn whip. Going from the edge the end of the staff, wrapping around his ankle and pulling him back down. Idril oh. floating down. Uh -huh. The ice, snow covering the ground, which I forgot uh -huh. to put on the map. Um, Idril looks down and flies down at you, Artyom. <laughs> the amount of necrotic energy that you've already absorbed is far beyond what most people could take. And as the scythe runs through your body, not producing blood, but instead gripping on something much more essential. And as it does, blue teal energy starts being produced from your body and for just a half of a second or so. You were looking at your own physical self. Arms sort of flailing back towards your physical body. Your soul is pulled from it and into the staff. Kashik, what are you doing? Okay, roll back everything that I said. No gentle repose. I have a plan. Kind of. Bonus action. I'm gonna cast 
Bane, a first level spell as a bonus action. I'm going to cast Bane on Edril. So he has to make a charisma saving throw. It's a success. It's a success? Okay. As my action, it is worth a shot. As an action, I am going to cast Banishment on Edril. Is that a touch spell? It does not. It's a 30 foot. 30 foot. Okay. Spell. Mm -hmm. It's also a charisma save. Okay. It's a success. What did he roll? I won't tell you what's on the dice, but I'll tell you his total was 18. Well, I guess, I guess I'm going to use the rest of my movement to get, to get the hell out of there, then. We'll come back for you, I guess. Bye. Are you turning and moving from there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, hold on, Tailspire. Pop up. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go. Uh, 30 feet away. Oh, no, I don't want to run by the giant. Oh, but I don't want to run by Yidril either. Does he have a... Does he have a... You're not attack? running by Yidril. You're 10 feet uh, away from Yidril in that square that you're in. So, you could move in that... Yeah, in a way that you would not provoke AOP okay. from Yidril. Yeah, Broxy is in a weird square. So, she's, yeah. she made it to kind of at the bottom of those stairs. I don't think she's going to in range, but I'm going to double check. Fuck. And I'm just going to say in the mental link, if anyone can get to Artyom's body, please grab it. Okay. You hear that as well, Candlewood. All right. Uh, she can awesome. not reach you. Um, although you do see the great axe swing and just shatter against trying uh, the wood. No. Trying to reach you. The axe shatters? No, 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 no. Against the wood. Sorry, I misspoke. Um, that is going to bring us to a Gariel. It's going to peek around this corner. She sees you two running. doesn't see Jeremiah. That's a problem. <laughs> Up here, you big bitch. It makes... There's a... You will hit. Um, I don't remember his stealth roll, so I'm going to roll that uh, before the back. He would have almost actually done that anyways. Uh, dagger sort of <laughs> skims across the top of her forehead, cutting into one ear. Okay. Um, and is going to duck back down behind here. Just try to keep her attention. For now. It's going to bring us to Idris' turn.
uh caustic make a wisdom saving throw Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Run, my daughter. Take your friends and run, run far away. And never return. Damn, am I able to... At what point am I able to speak within turn order? Over the mental link? If you want to use your six words at any point. Just at any point? Is since it... you've actually got not gotten a turn, you can use some yeah. words if you'd like to right now, whenever. Okay. So I've heard, I've heard that from Gorm that shit has gone really sideways, they're getting their asses kicked, and that Boris is headed towards the cemetery, uh, towards the monastery. Correct. And also, I have heard Kashik say over the mental link for somebody to get Artyom's body. Correct. Not to get Artyom, but to get his body. That is what she said. Gotcha. Is there anything you'd like to say? I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just processing the, yeah. our total, the, the situation in its entirety mm -hmm. of the city and, and that right now. Uh, I am just, I just want to say over the mental link, try to get everybody, including our team's body back tonight, holding it out of the city, head that way now, head for the tunnel. And I'm going to divert my course to get back to the veterans. They were heading towards Nighthold. That yeah, our party were heading towards Nighthold, right? Correct. Yep, Which I'm telling them the, to... di the direction that Boris and Yidril are currently heading mm -hmm. towards. Okay. Oh, but I, they're trying. They're they're, they're probably going to go past. I was told that Boris was trying to head towards the monastery. Right. I'm trying to tell them to try to get to the evac. Okay. All right. I tell them to try to get the evac. I'm diverting to get back to the to the veterans. Gotcha. All right. Azur, your turn. What would you like to do? We gotta run. Okay. Go ahead and put yourself where you like where you'd like to be. Oh, a devil moon. Okay. Which, when you're on the corner, you would see Crowley. Um, I think I can get right there. Okay. All right. Is that it for your turn? Yeah, just respond again to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will try. All right. It's going to bring us to Jeremiah. And it seems he was fucking off. Did I see that? He was kind of fucking off. Uh, it would have been difficult for you to see. Oh, he's flying in the air, actually, so you can actually see over all these guys. Yeah, you would see him starting to fly off. Okay. Uh, and yeah, just relay that information. It appears Eudril's fucking off, so he's probably headed towards the monastery to my best guess. Okay. <clears throat> Understood. Thank that. All right. He's to Jeremiah's turn. You said something and it just did not come through, DM. Oh, it brings us to Jeremiah's turn. He's going to go around this corner. He is going to see Ambroxia, and he is going to shit his pants and continue running. Um, Fair enough. And he will shit his pants once more when he sees Full Knights on the other side. Um, I need to measure. 
because he was right here. He has gotten 46 of his 60 feet. Uh, uh, I say 45 of 60, so that would be 60 right there. And he'll just round the corner. Hey, Gary, we gotta go. Um, Crowley, where are you heading to? You don't have to move your character at all, but if you're doing anything else or uh, just moving through the alleyways in front of you. Yeah, I'm just going to start moving through the alleyways, try to start moving toward the night hold, but I'm going to uh, <clears throat> look to uh, as we are right there. Let's see. One second. Excuse me. I'm going to call back to you, Azura, and say, uh, where is everyone else? Are they moving? I think so. You guys should see what's in that house right there. That's cool. Crow is going to wait, and once he sees, like, you know, two more come, he's going to start moving, too. Okay. So he's going to follow with them to the night hold, I assume. Gotcha. To Abraxia. He's just finished swinging the axe, which just sort of collides into the house right next to you, Kashik. She pulls the axe back takes a moment seems like she is considering something and then turns towards these guys back to the monastery these pests aren't a problem The forest continues moving. It's now off the board. Brings us to Milo. Milo, what are you doing? You're muted. Sorry. Yeah, I realized that right as I started to talk. Um, what else is hauling ass? He. Giant and Idril are both leaving. I'm trying to get directly above. Um, Yeah, uh, gonna pop expeditious retreat, grab RTM, and head out, I guess. Okay. Flying down the alleyway. Go ahead and move um, yourself that way. As far as you can get. Uh, when you grab RTM, it will cut your movement speed in half. I'm going to have one, two, three, four. That's all I got. Where did that put you? Oh, you went on top? Okay. I'll move. Yes, he, he is heading in that direction. Hard to get him up there with. Okay. 
Death Knights have been instructed on what to do, they're gonna listen. City Watch continues fighting. Not gonna let all that. Before I'm going, move yourself uh, wherever you would like to like to move. All right. Um, <clears throat> oh, and I'm so sorry just to interject over the group chat. I've got our champ. Yeah. Farewell, my dear Roxia. I know the thought of our next rendezvous has you weak at the knees. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking run away. That's fucked. Jeremiah, come on. Jeremiah's running faster than you. Jeremiah, come on! <laughs> I had to make a detour to talk, to talk a little shit. Oh, God. He turns around and swipes at you. Oh, no. Move to where you need to be. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, caution. What are you doing? Can I see Edo from here? Um, that's a good fucking question. I have no clue. Let me see. Let me look. Let me drill down, actually. <laughs> Probably not. There's, like, houses and shit in the way, huh? Yeah, there is, there's a house blocking the way right now. Um, fair enough. I'm just gonna keep running after Gorm and Jeremiah, then. Okay. Um, yeah. That's all I'm gonna do with my turn. Alright. You run. Crowley, the others start to show up around you. Aguirreal. Hops down. Starts to make his way as well. Really disappeared at this point. Ooh, someone's got loud You're not muted, noises. Brittany. Oh, I'm not muted. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Pugil is gone at this point. Sort is gone. Brings to Jeremiah's turn. This is where we find out that Jeremiah is like an Olympic sprinter. <laughs> I am going to see if anything else. What? I just heard, I see... <laughs> Adults from Charlie Brown. <laughs> he does take just a quick second uh, to take a breather. Oh, huh. Us. We say to get his second wind, maybe? Seems something like that. Uh, mechanical right. jokes. You guys are out of initiative at this point. Okay, DM. Yes. Uh, is it, would it be appropriate for me to clarify what I'm doing? Yes. Like I said, I don't know how far away I am from those veterans. I figure I knew I was heading like on the straightest path there. I could figure out about where they were, right? right correct. Where they would be. I'm diverting to them. 
getting in, I'm assuming I get there relatively quickly. To the uh, soldiers on the ground? The to veterans the veterans. On the ground? Yes. Yeah, the veterans, yeah, yeah. but uh, the 30 that I had been trying to bring to aid. Mm -hmm. To get to them, turn back to the monastery. Things fell apart too quickly. Would, By the time we get there, it won't matter. We make our stand at the monastery. We give him 11 or whatever time he needs. Let's go. Okay. And I'm I am not going to go ahead of them. I'm making sure they get there as fast as possible that we can hopefully at least get there ahead of the Death Knights. Okay. Gotcha. Or, or Knights. All right. The rest of you... Milo with RTM in tow running through the back alleyways of Aether. Where are you heading to? Milo will be beelining to where he saw Kashik. Like, over and down on the other side of the building. I want to yeah. pull up the map. Um, okay. You guys converge all together. It's, it's fun. You guys converge in some alleyways behind, out of line of sight. Heavy breathing, but no more giant footsteps. At least they are getting further away, it seems. The Bold Knights have been turned around and now are heading back towards the Crimson Monastery. Uh, you guys are in an alleyway somewhere in the, uh, the Yeva Bazaar, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. I believe so. So. Um... Can we save him? Uh, DM, does Kashik know anything about that site? That was the only thing that was new about Yidril when you saw him last. You had never seen that site before. Okay. How long has it been since he went down? A few moments. Give me a religion check, Kashi. Uh, whatever my thing is, it's not going to be good. It's a five plus whatever my religion is. At most, probably like a four. Let me check. Yeah, four, so nine total. Nine total. Okay. Oh, no. Never mind. You have a handful of moments left if you're going to attempt it. See, this is the hard thing because Brittany knows it probably won't work, but Kaushik doesn't know that. So Kaushik... I mean, Kaushik saw what happened, right? Yeah, but Kashik probably didn't see Artyom's soul go into this scythe, right? Kashik can't see souls. What are you doing, Kashik? Uh, hold on, I'm checking my diamonds real you quick. Uh, uh, the diamond that he gave me, how much is it worth? It's worth 300 gold. 300, okay, yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna try to revive. Okay. Mark off your third level spell for revivify. Yep. Find yourself in the dark woods away from Ater. Mm. Friends didn't have enough time to help you with this. You didn't have time for a proper ritual to bring someone back. No floating motes of light around you currently. Just you in the dark wood once more. A cabin in the distance, as it always is. What are you doing? Taking off towards the cabin. Just running. You walk towards the cabin, running, nope. sprinting. Run. Mm -hmm. 
and get there towards the front door. What do you do? Start banging on the door. <laughs> Calling our team's name. The doorknob clicks. Mm -hmm. On the other side, a pale white feminine figure in long dresses, her robes, her hair back curling from them two draconic like horns stares back at you in just pure interest a devout follower how lovely it is to see you You may call me a this bowl. That's more in the night session. So. Thank you guys for playing with me. <laughs> no! Oh, no. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Thank you guys for joining us. Damn. Damn. Tainted diamond. Damn. Taint Diamond. That was... Damn. All right. So we are Hard Knock Dice. Damn. We stream every Wednesday and Saturday, guys. On Wednesdays, we are now running Blood and Silver, ran by the homie Milo slash at Tyler. I always have to look at your fucking handle tag, Tyler Chase Games. Um, <laughs> so uh, come check us out Wednesday nights. If you haven't yet, drop a follow, drop a subscribe. That always helps. Uh, go follow us on YouTube, TikToks. We're doing bunches, bunches of things. No Facebook. We don't have a fucking Facebook. Um, MySpace. No, we don't have that either. Shut the fuck LinkedIn. up. LinkedIn. Uh, we LinkedIn. don't have a LinkedIn either. Tumblr. Oh, damn you, Paul. <laughs> Listen to me, not them. Pinterest. I'm going to mute all of them to just delete the audio Pepsi. source. <laughs> TikTok, Twitter, here on Twitch, YouTube. Uh, if you are feeling generous, uh, generous, you can always hit that subscribe button. Uh, but Wednesdays, we run Blood and Silver. Uh, it's got some awesome people in it. On Saturdays, we do this across Eberron, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays. Uh, so make sure you uh, check us out. Um, yes, and thank you for that link in the chat, exclamation mark charity. Uh, we are raising money with Extra Life for the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. You can be a hero to someone and uh, save some lives. So uh, please consider doing that. Um, we have an ultimate goal of $5,000 this year. We're going to be planning some stuff to, to help raise that money. But from now until December, we're trying to raise, raise 5K. So please consider opening your heart and wallets to a really good cause. Um, I am going to go ahead and click on this raid channel since I was trying to get there. Uh, but my computer's running real slow, so I apologize. Uh, we're going to raid some friends. Uh, let's raid uh, some friends over at Dice Legends. Um, they got an awesome production over there. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Um, I think I hit everything. Make sure you uh, tune in next week and see how this all plays out. Uh, because I fucking have no clue. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bad. Much love. Bye. <laughs> it was so funny to send Messenger. Oh, my God.